Get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen. Get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen.
Hours ticking. Last chance to hit those likes, let's get the party started. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the stream. Bitcoin came down a little bit since this morning, all right? Came down just a little bit since this morning, but I don't think we're going too much lower. I don't think we're going too much lower. I apologize for the giant truck in the background. Kind of adds to the uh kind of adds to it a little bit. I kind of like it. Uh but what's going on? So 42,530. What the heck is going on? Uh we got some uh some bearish people coming out today saying uh, Bitcoin's about to roll back over again. We got savvy coming out. What's going on, guys? It's Savvy. Uh, guys, we are simply rolling over. Bitcoin is going down to 10K, guys. The Amazon fractal is going to play out again. I am telling you guys right now, do not doubt the Amazon fractal. It is going back down to 10K, guys. This is simply just an Elliott wave back down to 10K. We just finished our five wave. You guys look here uh, for Bitcoin. Let's pull out our Elliott waves you guys can see right here we got the one wave the two the three the four and the five now we got to get that big wave back down to the 10k region just like the amazon fractal from 2000 guys it is happening do not deny us it is going to freaking happen guys we are bearish nothing has changed guys absolutely nothing has changed bitcoin is extremely bearish like it's been since 2020 nothing is <laughs> he said <laughs> He said Savvy's face is melting, man. DJ said Savvy's face is melting. That's hilarious. Um, well, all right. Anyway, guys, let's jump back in. So 42,481. What the heck is going on? We're going to look at a couple different things, but as always, smash up the like button, guys. Um, let's see it. I do think that Bitcoin's still going to get a move up here for multiple different reasons. We're going to take a look exactly why I think we're going to get a move up. You guys might disagree. I said on Twitter today that I do believe that Bitcoin is going up from here. You guys can quote me on this. Quote me on this. 
book it, right? Book it. I believe that Bitcoin's going up. I do not believe that it is going to go much lower than right now. Yes, could it go slightly lower? Absolutely. But we'll take a look at exactly why I don't think it's going to go too much lower and why I think it's going to go back up to the upside here for multiple different reasons. All right. So as always, smack up the like button, guys. Let's start out on our uh, coin market cap and see what's kind of going on around the crypto land. Uh, everything's pretty much down. I mean, it, Eat Bitcoin's down about three percent. Eat down four, and uh, most of the, most of the top altcoins down, with a few exceptions. Um, you, got, you obviously have some gainers here, um, some holding about better than others, down about one percent. But mostly, right? Mostly uh, everything's pretty much down. Uh, biggest gainers today, uh, Anchor Protocol continues to do very very well. Uh, QNT obviously continues to do very very well. Uh, OKB up about five percent. Cosmos five percent. VeChain. So there are some gainers today, but most of all, right? Most of all. Uh, most things are, are down, but if you look, biggest losers, nothing down too much, right? Nothing's down too much. Nothing's really changed, guys. Nothing has changed. Right? Nothing's really changed. But you guys can see here, 7% on Convex, Harmony, Ave, Phantom, Avalanche. Some of the bigger names actually down about 6 5, 5 6%. Uh, but overall, nothing has really changed, all right? So that's the overall market right now. Nothing is uh, too much different than yesterday. Nothing like huge. You don't see any like 20% uh, gainers or anything really. But for the most part, uh, that's what we're looking at at the moment. Now, let's jump on to the Bitcoin charts, all right? Uh, as always, before we get started, guys, I want to remain to say that uh, we are going to Vegas from April 8th to the 14th, all right? Um, if you guys want to go, you guys can go. It's a free invitation. Uh, we'll most likely have one... Uh, I mean, one night where maybe we'll do something uh, fun, everyone, like an organized thing. But most of all, we'll probably just be hanging out. Uh, we'll probably just be hanging out, right? Shooting the crap, drinking some beers, taking a week off crypto, just shooting the crap, right? April 8th to the 14th, you want to go to Vegas, I'll be there along with a ton of great people from this community. It's going to be a lot of fun, all right? It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to freaking do it. So uh, let me know in the chat if you're going. If you're going, let me know in the chat. I want to see everyone that's going in the freaking chat, all right? A lot of you guys don't freaking care, but uh, let's jump on into the Bitcoin charts. So uh, let's switch on over to that. Let's go over here, over to the Bitcoin chart. So uh, Bitcoin at 42474 uh, We're currently sitting at the 382 Fibonacci. We did break... Uh, below at both the 20 and the 50 EMA, will we continue lower, right? Will we continue lower? That's going to be the question, right? That's going to be the question. But I don't think we are going to continue too much lower. I think uh, we're actually in a good spot. Why do I think we're in a good spot? Let's go to the four hour real quick. Uh, Mr. Heart, this is this is going to be called the Mr. Heart Fractal uh, until it actually doesn't play out. This is going to be the Mr. Heart Fractal. If we actually put this over like this, you guys can see that this is the same price action that we actually saw on the first move we actually put this down here right we saw this first move right big big move up consolidation big move down everyone everyone's saying that bitcoin's done we're just going to roll back over we're going to go back to the downside it's over it's over it's over and then we saw a big pump to the upside all right so if we take that same price action we extrapolate that up on the mr heart fractal okay you guys know i love my fractals i might as well call my channel fractal boy you guys can see uh, I do think we're going to see something similar to this, which maybe means that, you know, maybe we could go a little lower, test the, t test the 200 four hour EMA before continuing back to the upside. But I do, I'm going to stick by my thoughts that I do think that Bitcoin is going to see a move up here within the next couple of days. I'm not going to put a time frame on it. I keep saying it's going to happen today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. I'm not going to put a time frame on it, but I do think it's going to happen within the next couple of days. What do you guys think, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. Um... Let's see. Hopium fractal. Nandita said hopium fractal. All right. If you got a bearish fractal, let me know. Let me know, Nandita. You got a bearish fractal. You let me know the bearish fractal. Then we'll go from there. Um, let's go to... Let's stick here. Let's stick here real quick. I, I what, what I'll say about this, guys, is a lot of good things happen on the short-term time frames, right? Uh, you look at the uh, hourly stock RSI, it is bottomed out, right? We got the hourly RSI that could go a little bit lower, which... You know, maybe we come back down to the 0.5 fib to test the uh, 200 one hour EMA. Maybe, right? Maybe we do this. Uh, but overall, I, I do think we're relatively close uh, with these uh, nicely reset. Like, this is why I like this. Price action pretty much just went sideways. Yes, it went slightly down, but price action pretty much went sideways, which able to reset some of these indicators that were pretty overbought, right? Uh, up here in the end of February, these were overbought. You reset it back to the downside, all right? Uh, we go to the four hour chart, all right? We go to the four hour chart right here. Pretty much the same thing, right? If you look at the four hour stock RSI, it's also bottomed out. Uh, now, I would like to maybe make 
uh, a little bit of bullish divergence, right? Maybe a little bit of, bit of bullish divergence. If we went a little bit lower, uh, that could be the scenario. Uh, if we actually move this over here, and this is why if Bitcoin goes a little bit lower here, actually it could even be a little bit better of a setup if it goes lower here. Uh, we look, maybe you get some higher, uh, higher, higher uh, lows coming in, and then you get some lower lows on the four-hour time frame, right? Maybe, right? Just maybe that is what could happen. So um, let's see, right? Let's see. And this is why even if we did go a little bit lower to like the the forty-two thousand five, actually, they're the about the forty thousand seven hundred dollar level. That, I don't think that would be too bad for Bitcoin. I don't think that would be too bad at all all right um plan c please plan c I, guys I, I i don't know I, I think we're on plan f at this point all right i think we're on plan f uh if you don't think we're on plan f well you, your nose probably looks like this all right i don't think we're on plan a i don't think we're on plan b i don't think we're on plan c all right i don't think we're on plan d e f i think we're on we, we, honestly we could be on plan w at this point uh if i'm going to be completely honest with you guys we could be on plan w all right, your nose looks like this. Let me know in the chat if your nose looks like this. I do think your nose looks like this. Very, very, very big if you think we're on plan C. Um, I do like that plan C guy on Twitter. He seems kind of cool. We'll see if we'll see if he's correct. He seems kind of cool. Um, he doesn't make any uh, un, unrealistic expectation targets. So that's why I like him. I don't like people that make these unrealistic targets on Twitter. I'm not going to name names. I'm going to stop naming names. Uh, people get people getting pissed at me. So... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I will say that he doesn't make unrealistic expectations. So I kind of like plan C. I kind of like plan C. Uh, now, plan B is a little bit better <laughs> for obvious reasons. Maybe plan B is a little bit better. If you haven't used plan B, well, you're probably too late, man. Bruh. <laughs> you're probably too late at that point. Um, I think everyone's had to do that. Uh, Jordan, are you getting ready that sock to eat? I'm not eating the sock, man. It's going to be you guys who eat the sock. I'm telling you guys right now. We're already halfway there. You guys are going to be the ones that are going to have to eat the sock. I'm telling you, man. If you think that I'm going to be the one that eats the sock, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. I'm not eating the sock. Let's go look at why I think Bitcoin's getting ready for another move to the upside here in the daily time frame. We look at this downtrend of resistance on the daily. Yes, we did come up and get rejected from the 200 EMA right here, right? We got a clear rejection. Uh, and there's so much confluence in this level, guys. We'll take a look at it in the weekly time frame and the long-term time frames. There's so much, right? There's so much going on here. Um, there's so much going on here, right? But if you look, right, downtrend of resistance, back tested it on the daily time frame, also back tested the 50 EMA. Will this just be a clean back test of this before continuation up? And we looked at the one hour and the four hour. I think those are getting ready for another move. You know, I, I, I think people are kind of bearish again. People are very, very bearish, and it's funny. You know what's funny? Um, you know what's really, really funny in the chat? Everyone was getting super bullish, right? Everyone was getting super bullish up here. I, I, th th this is how the market works, man. Everyone was getting super, super bullish, right? As the price was moving up here. Now, we get a 3% move down, and everyone's bearish again. Everyone is bearish again just because we get a 3% move down. It's crazy, man. It, we see this over and over and over again. And I know a lot of you guys are uh, indicative of this in the chat. You might be saying, oh, we got rejected from this level again. Listen, you're not always just going to blast through things, right? You're not just going to blast through things. I know a lot of you guys in the chat were super, super bullish when Bitcoin was right here coming up after this 15% move to the upside and then another green day following that. Now you guys are bearish again when we get a little bit moved to the downside. It, it, it's... It, it, happens every single time. Now, you might be saying the opposite, right? The bulls get uh, super, super bullish when we get 2% <laughs> move to the upside, which is true, which is very, very true. Um, but I think you can get bullish when you do make, when you when you do break important levels, right? Um, and I think now is one of those times. And until we break, come back down and we break this level, I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Um, let's go on to this. I, I, I want to repeat this again. I know you guys are probably sick and tired, right? Sick and sick and sick and sick and tired of um, looking at this, right? Sick and sick and tired of looking at this, but guys, it, it, it is it is so true. And I know people are trolly, people are bearish, uh, people are just cra people are people are going nuts right now. People are going nuts right now. But I, I'll, I'm going to stick by my guns, guys. I'm not going to stick by my guns. I'm not going to flip flop here. I'm going to remain bullish. 
I'm going to remain bullish here. I'm not going to flip-flop based off a 3% move to the downside. I'm not going to do it, guys. I'm not going to do it. I know you guys are, you guys are all doing it. I mean, two days ago, you guys were freaking bullish, Bring right, in the chat. Work. You guys were all freaking bullish. Uh, you guys are probably jerking off Savvy in the back room back there. Oh! 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 Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, I needed this. I need this. I haven't gotten any action from my wife. Oh! Oh, thank you, my fans. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, my fans. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> All you bears back there. But here's what I'll say, man. I'm not going to flip-flop just because you guys are flip-flopping, okay? I'm not going to do it. Bitcoin has the W reversal set up. We have not breaking the W reversal. We have to break the neckline here. But we know that every macro move is set up by a W or M pattern all the way since January of 2021. We're talking about a year and two months of just the big reversals you see in Bitcoin, whether to the upside or downside, always have the same pattern. And we're seeing the same thing right now. We got to break, obviously, we got to break. It's really 46K. We got to break 46K for this to play out. But you still have that W reversal pattern. We still have it where the whales move it back down. They move it back up. They move it back down. Get the liquidity to the downside and then move it back up to the upside. It's it's classic, man. We see this every single time. And, and uh, there's stuff on the weekly that we're going to take a look at too when we get to the long-term section here. But I'm sticking to the daily and below in this section. This is what I'm watching, man, right? I mean, we, we can we can talk about everything we all we want, but this is the type of setup we want to see. And if if there was bearish divergence on the daily, that was what would worry me. What's also, what I like right now is there is no bearish divergence on the daily. There's none. So I can't, uh, I can't get, uh, I can't get too bearish here, right? I can't get too bearish. Uh, <laughs> a lot of you guys lost your sense of humor, man. You know what I've noticed? You know what I've noticed in this this downtrend for Bitcoin? A lot of people that watch my channel have completely lost their sense of humor, man. Everyone's so mad. Like, here's what I here, here here's here's what I think, guys. Here's what I think. A lot of you guys lost your sense of humor. On the move up, everything's funny, right? Everything's funny because everyone's in a good mood. Bitcoin price comes down, everyone's super depressed. No one can have a good time. No one has a smile on their face ever. No one has a smile on their face ever. Why is that? You you're letting the crypto market get to your emotions, guys. You know, you're letting it get to your emotions, man. You're doing it. You're freaking doing it. All right? Don't let it do it. Bitcoin will bounce up here at some point. Will it do it right now? I think it will. Okay? Don't follow. This is not financial advice. This is not financial advice. Do not let it get to you. And you guys are letting it get to you. I can tell in the chat. You guys are letting it get to you. I can tell in the chat. I can see it. I can see it. You guys are like, oh, gross, gross. Ew. What the fuck? Ew. Ew. Gross. Right? It's true. It's true. Mm. <clears throat> Prithish said, uh, do you dare smell Jabba's socks? Tweety Geeky said, we miss Jabba. Listen, I miss Jabba too. I actually spent about two hours trying to find Jabba. He's gone, guys. I, if someone out there can help me find it. Actually, someone in the past actually told me what Jabba was under on the Snapchat app. If someone can help me find him, Someone please help me find him, guys. I, I, someone helped me in the past. I forget who it was. They told me the name. I searched everything. I searched every possible thing that could describe Jabba's face. And he, he is gone, guys. He, he is dead. Uh, I want him back, too. Trust me. I want him back, too. I don't like the skinny Jabba. He sucks. He, has, he doesn't have the same effect. I don't like skinny Jabba. He sucks. But it, it's the reality of the situation right now. I want Jabba back, too. Trust me. I want Jabba back more than anything here. Uh, all right, one more thing on the daily time frame, all right? All right, um, one more thing on the daily time frame. Guys, seriously, remain positive, guys. I mean, don't be bobs in the chat. Ew, what the heck is this guy doing? This guy sucks. This guy sucks. I'm never watching this guy's channel again. He's talking about jerking off. What is this? <laughs> Listen, I've, I, I've been the same person. I always tell these type of jokes, guys, all right? So nothing has changed since the... I, I've always been that type of jokester. So uh, it is what it is. If you guys get it offended now and you didn't a couple months ago, I think that says something about you, not me. But uh, let's see, all right? What's going on here? Let's check out a couple daily indicators that we don't normally look at, right? Let's look at the Gajian channel. By the way, guys, keep smacking up that like. Um, let's see what we could fight here. So we got 14 minutes into the close. Uh, 
real quick before we jump into that, um, basically all I want to do on the close here, which it looks like we're going to do. I don't, I don't think that anything is really shaping up here. I just want to get a close above the daily downtrend and resistance. All right. So can all the Vikings in the chat, I need all the Vikings in the chat here, guys. Vikings, assemble. We must close above the daily downtrend of resistance. Spam the swords and spam the shields in the chat. We will hold this on the daily close. That's all Jordan wants to see. So Vikings, hold the line here. Hold this daily downtrend of resistance. Back test it as support and we will move on and fight the bears at the next resistance. All you guys are so, there's no morale. There's no morale for the bulls, but I know the people left have the morale. Put the swords and the shields in the chat right now. Put the swords in the shields in the chat right now. I want to see it, man. I want to see it. Put them in there. We must fight the bears back and kick all their balls. We must do it. We must do it. Kick them. Right in the balls. We must do it. I did the first one. <laughs> All right, I just, kick, I just kicked the bear in the balls, guys. I, just, I literally just kicked the bear in the balls. Hold on, I'll do it for you guys again here. Ready? Boom! There's my foot. Kick them all in the balls, man. Seriously. Let's get it though. But no, seriously, let's close it back above that. Another scenario that people have been saying is a possible inverse head and shoulders on the daily time frame. If we can bounce from this level, it would be a perfect setup, just like we've been talking about, right? We have the left shoulder, we have the head, and we have the right shoulder on the back test. Let's see if we can continue up and break that to the upside here. <laughs> What's up, Pawtucket? Lick it, bears. Lick it, bears. Uh, nice, man. You got a packed bull? That's what I'm talking about. 420, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Listen, I, I don't really do that stuff anymore, but listen, there was a time in my life where I did every single day. I don't do that anymore, but if that's you, trust me, that's you. I'm not going to say I don't do anything, but <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. That, that's why we're here. But yeah, I mean, if we can if we can bounce from this level, guys, right here, come back up. We would have, we would have the making of an inverse head and shoulders, but, but obviously we got some work to do. We got to get a bounce off this level here and then we got to break the neckline which is right there at around 45,800 so got some work to do but there is some possibilities there let's go look at some indicators that we don't normally look at here on the daily time frame by the way guys let's go look at it so what's going on here on the daily time frame well uh we got sort of this we're gonna look at the gaussian channel here and why i'm looking at the gaussian channel is look at how these levels are respected right um, it, it's almost like clockwork. And, and listen, I used to be a hater of the Gaussian channel. I used to sit here and, and, and just consistently hate on the Gaussian channel like a Karen, right? Who cares about the Gaussian channel? Who even looks at that? No one looks at that. Traders don't look at it. So why would it work? Why would it work? I want to speak to your manager, God, Mr. Gaussian. Mr. Gaussian, I want to speak to your manager, bro. Like, this is ridiculous. Why are we even looking at the Gaussian channel? It doesn't even work. It doesn't even work. Like, Jordan doesn't like it either. Like, uh, we don't even need to look at this. I want to speak to the manager of the Gaussian channel right now. We need to change this indicator. We need to change this indicator right now. Okay? We need to do it. Now, I'm not going to be a hater of it anymore. Okay? Because it actually is respecting pretty well in the daily time frame, right? Ever since, I mean, it's been perfect. I mean, ever since, I mean, you can go back all the way in time. Uh, you had support on it all throughout the bull run here, right? Every time you get a pullback, you kind of came back down, came back down to it here. Perfect back test. You didn't even come back down to it here. Back, perfect back test there. Perfect back test there. Broke it, came to the bottom, came back up, got rejected, came back down, got rejected off the bottom of it all throughout there, came back up, back tested the, the top, came back up, back tested the top, came back down, back tested the bottom, came back up, came back down, back tested the bottom, broke through it, back tested the top. Back test the middle, back test the top. I mean, so you can see that either the lower band, the middle band, or the top band are perfectly respected almost every single time here for BTC, right? So if we look at this pretty closely, right, you can see that we did get rejected from the top. 
All right, and now we're coming back down and look exactly where we wicked to today, guys. We wicked right to the middle of the Gaussian channel here. And, and there's and this is why there's so much, there's so much resistance right here at this level. We know there is, right? There's so much resistance for many different indicators, right? 200 day uh, EMA, you got uh, previous resistance right there. Top of the Gaussian channel, Bollinger Bands are sitting at that level there. But we also have a lot of support coming in right at this level here. Right? So this kind of goes to the theory is, can we bounce here and finally break back above the Gaussian channel here? Right, Last time we did, we had a pretty nice rally. Right, We had a pretty nice rally last time we did uh, right here. Right, We came back up, backed us to the top of it, and we were kind of off to the races and stayed uh, in it or above it until all we, we got back up to 69K. So that's, that's another thing I'm watching here. Right, That's another thing that we're watching here on the daily time frame. Let's see. We're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place on, on, this, on this indicator. But uh, nevertheless, I kind of like where it's doing, right? So the other thing I want to look at is the Ichimoku cloud here on the daily. And you can see that, I mean, another another thing that's coming out, perfect support right here at this level. Let me actually just put a level here at right here on this support. Another level that's coming in right here, right? I mean, look at it. You perfectly back tested the top of the Ichimoku cloud uh, and looking to hold it as support. Another thing that could show left shoulder, head, right shoulder continuation. Another thing that has support there. So you guys can see, I mean, this is the first time we've gotten a back above the Ichimoku cloud on the daily um, since all the way back here in November 16th. And the same thing, last time we got back above it, we obviously went on to have a major run, okay? All the way back up to 69K. So I'm not gonna say we're gonna do it, but the last two times we were able to reclaim the Ichimoku cloud on the daily, we've gotten massive runs to the upside. Obviously in 2020, massive, massive, massive run to the upside when we got back above it here. Okay, and then obviously in the summertime, got back above it, back tested it, continued up. We got some good things going on right now, guys. We got some good things going on here in the daily, things that we are trying to get back over or got over since we haven't had, right? Since we haven't had that since the summer, right? So keep that in mind. I know they're just indicators, but I think, I think they're good things to look at. Now, one thing that we need to keep in mind here in the daily, right? One thing we need to keep in mind is this, right? is this, uh, the, the uh, e daily EMA ribbon. So this is another one I'm looking at. Now, one thing I will say about the daily EMA ribbon is we actually got back above it in February, right? We got back above it once here in February, dumped, right? Tried to, tried to reclaim it as support, got to bounce back up and then control support. So what we want to see is now that we reclaim the daily EMA ribbon, right? Uh, which is normally a very, very good sign. And when you're above it, I mean, you're usually in a bullish trend, can we hold it as support and come back up and make it a new higher high? That's what I'm watching here for you for. So I'm not gonna say like if you're a swing trader, like trade the daily EMA ribbon or anything, but what I'll say is a back test to this, you wanna hold this as support, just like say like the, the weekly support band as Ben Cowan would say, right? The, uh, ben Cowan would be very, very upset right now. He'd be looking at me like this. This is what Ben Cowan would say. Thanks for jumping back into the cryptoverse. Today, guys, we're gonna talk Bitcoin in the weekly support band. So for some reason, Jordan's talking about the daily EMA ribbon, right? Which absolutely has no significance of Bitcoin is in a bullish rally, right? We need to get back over the 20 week, 20 week EMA. Do not listen to Jordan. Jordan has no idea what he's talking about. He's talking about an absolutely useless indicator that's not gonna help you guys at all. Um, what's important guys is the bull market support band, okay? That is what is important. Do not listen to Jordan. Um, if you guys want more updates, make sure you guys join my premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys later. Bye. I still, <laughs> my favorite thing about Ben Cowan, I know I say this every single time, but it's true. In his outro, he just goes, bye. Just no emotion, bye. Um, but no, seriously, guys. I, I mean, this isn't a, a end-all, be-all indicator, but it, it is good when you get back above it. So you guys can see it. Ichimoku Cloud, Gaussian Channel. Uh, we have two good things going back on, getting back above key levels on these indicators. But the question is, are we going to be able to hold above them? Th that, that's sort of the scenario we're, we're in right now. And, and I think that we will, right? I think that we will. And you guys know why I think that we will, all right? Uh, and that is, where's the block? Where's our blockchain backer fractal, man? Is this thing just gone here? Hold up. The blockchain, no, the blockchain, <laughs> the blockchain backer fractal is gone, guys. Um, you guys are probably so sick of the blockchain backer fractal. Let me actually look at this poll real quick, though. Uh, what does Bitcoin see first? We have uh, 40K, 
48%, and 46K, 52%. So people are pretty split. What's funny is I did pretty much the same poll yesterday where I asked, what does Bitcoin see first, uh, 40K or 50K? And what's funny is yesterday it was like 70, 30 uh, as, far as, bull, uh, as far as 50K. So see what one red day does? One red day and all of a sudden ev everyone's sitting here uh, like, like friggin' uh, Jabba. Everyone's sitting here like Jabba like, see, I just put in a 100x short. I told you Bitcoin was going to dump. I was bullish yesterday, but now I'm bearish because we got one red day. Yeah. I'm bearish because we got one red day. We're going back down to the downside, guys. It's happening. Bitcoin's done. It's the, it's the, it's the worst asset ever. It sucks. It's so bad. Like, Jordan's fractal sucks. You guys need to short this fractal. It's one of the worst fractals I've ever seen. Yeah, join Team Jabba. Join Team Jabba where you can get unlimited shoes whenever you want. Whenever you want. Okay? Join Team Jabba. <laughs> you guys are funny in the chat, man. Um, one day and, and everyone's bearish, man. One day and everyone's bearish. It's funny. Fractal friends, frack buddies. Um, a little secret, but the market phenomenon is not a mystery. It has a infrastructure known as the platonic solids. I don't know what that is, man. That, 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 sounds, uh, that sounds disgusting, though. All right, so uh, let's go back over here. Let's go back over here. Free Bitcoin giveaway, so you should have bought at 3K. <laughs> Everyone give a shout out to th uh, Bitcoin uh, 3K giveaway. Uh, he said, thanks, Captain Obvious. He comes in the chat and he says, Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, sh you should have bought Bitcoin at 3K. Let's, let's everyone say hi to Crypto Anonymous for uh, saying the most obvious statement ever. Shout out to this guy. He's a genius. Should have bought Bitcoin at 3K, guys. Come on. Everyone say it. Everyone say it in the chat, man. <laughs> Captain Obvious. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I think if everyone had the choice, they would have done it, man. Thank you, man. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, Pawtucket said, oh, Pawtucket, I appreciate you though, man. Appreciate you though, Pawtucket. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Keep smashing up those likes, guys. Keep smashing up those likes. Big Papa Bear said, bullish on crypto anonymous. Nice, man. Uh, Ray Santos said, hey, bro, we need to do a Twitter live chat, Twitter spaces. I'm having one with Alex uh, on crypto tomorrow. Stay ruthless, I sent you a DM. Yeah, let's get one set up, man. I definitely hop on there. Uh, I definitely hop on there. That'd be super cool. And uh, Ray, you seem like a freaking awesome guy. So love to have you. I'd love to uh, be on there, man. Send me a DM. I will hop on there, man. Appreciate you, Ray. All right. So go follow Ray Santos Crypto on Twitter, guys. He's awesome. Ray Santos Crypto. He does a bunch of giveaways. Seems like a cool dude over there. We need to do a Twitter live chat hashtag Twitter spaces. I'm having one with Alex and Crypto tomorrow. Stay ruthless. I sent you a What are you doing, man? Um, all right, right now Bitcoin's at 42,455. What's gonna happen, guys? What is gonna happen? You know what I think it's funny? You know what I think it's funny is is we've seen we saw this same exact price action here, and we saw the same exact reaction to that price action uh last time. The same exact reaction. Like I remember right here, Bitcoin came up, you know, everyone was getting a little bit bullish. Bitcoin kind of consolidated sideways for a day or two, and then we we had this kind of a, a big four hour candle right here. I know everyone's like, oh, it's over. It's absolutely over. And then Bitcoin just decided to go on an absolute rampage. This is why I say, guys, Bitcoin's going to do whatever it wants, when it wants to do it, how it wants to do it. I know we're looking at the charts, but Bitcoin does not care about your feelings, okay? It does not care about what you think is going to happen. Case in point, go look at Monday this week. Everyone thought Monday was going to be a red day, okay? And you guys will say, eh, everyone, everyone. I'm generalizing here, but you guys get the point. Everyone thought Monday was going to be a red day, and it, it was a 15% up day for Bitcoin. Um, so keep that in mind. No one knows what's going to happen. Bitcoin can pump at any time and it can dump at any time. Let's be honest. Bitcoin can also dump at any time. But, you know, uh, I would say that the general sentiment is pretty bearish. Even the people that see Bitcoin going up are generally in disbelief, including me. That's why I told you guys I'll I'm going to be taking profits on the way up because um, I just think that's a smart strategy right now. Um, you know, it could bite me in the ass, but who knows? 
Um, you know, the general sentiment is bearish. The general sentiment is bearish. And listen, I'm kind of going against the grain and I'm getting a little hate for going against the grain. A lot of people are, are you know, hey, Jordan, you, you're, you're being an absolute moon boy right now. That's just, that's just the gut feeling I'm getting right now. Gut feeling I'm getting for multiple different reasons. Um, as far as sentiment goes, as far as the W pattern we are painting on the longer term time frames, as far as our blockchain backer fractal, as far as our four hour fractal, as far as the, the shorter term time frames don't look too bad right now either, right? So, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I am going to, right? I'm going to remain bullish here. That, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, let's see. So... Let's freaking see. How many more? We need a few days to see if this fractal plays out. What's your deadline, Jordan? Just curious. Uh, the next couple of days, Clint. I, I'm, I'm not gonna give. Uh, I'm not gonna give. Uh, I'm not gonna give a deadline, man. People want a deadline because people just want to see a move today. If the if the price doesn't move today, we're bearish, guys. Bitcoin drops a one percent tomorrow, bearish. Bitcoin drops point oh one percent, bearish. Rant alert. That's all we see. It's just bearish, 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 bearish. Bitcoin goes sideways, bearish. Bitcoin does nothing, bearish. Bitcoin disappears, bearish. Bitcoin eats an apple, bearish. Bitcoin eats an orange, bearish. Bitcoin eats a banana, bearish. Bitcoin eats a ripe banana, bearish. Right? Anything but up is bearish. Right? You can't even have one day of downside or it's just bearish. Bearish, 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 bearish. That's all it is. Unless Bitcoin has green, everyone's bearish. That's it, it, just the case scenario right now. Uh, but Clint, I'm not going to give a time frame, but I, I do think we go up. I do think we go up within the next couple of days. So I'm not going to do, you know, buy tomorrow um, or anything like that. Because I said that yesterday uh, and, and I said that this morning, but we haven't seen it just yet. So next couple of days, do think we'll see it. But I would say by the end of the week. By the end of the week, that, that's a little bit more... Uh, you know, third, what do we got? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, by the end of the week, right? Next three days. Um, but Clint, I know you're not being bearish. Clint, <laughs> Clint, I know you're long-term bullish, man. I know Clint's a hodler. Clint's a hodler, man, because why, cause why do I know this? Because Clint got mad at me for, uh, Clint got mad at me for saying I'm taking profits at 46 to 56K. I remember. Clint's like, you're soft, Jordan. You're so soft for taking profits. Which, you know, I agree. I, I generally agree. It kind of goes against my, uh, my my thesis, but it is what it is. All right, so, but anyways, the blockchain backer fractal shows up higher. We'll, we'll go get that in a little bit. You guys get the point with the blockchain backer fractal. We talk about that every single day, uh, mind you, okay? And Jim said, we gun go up right now. We gun go up. We gun go up, man. All right, so let's go do Ethereum. Let's go to Ethereum here. Let's go over here, back and over to Ethereum. All right, what's going on with ETH? Anything really popping here for ETH, right? Let's go to the daily on ETH. Let me actually get this all uh, jacked up. The ETH chart's all kind of jacked up. What I kind of like about ETH, it, we see you guys see this red uh, or this green box of support, right? The green box of now support. I want to see this hold for ETH, and, and I, I think it will, right? Because I think that I don't think Bitcoin goes too much lower than we are right now, at least right now, right? Uh, within the next couple of days, but I kind of like where ETH is sitting, right? Previous resistance, previous support. Um, try to try to hold a support here, and I, I like I said, I think it will. I ultimately think it will. Now we still, what's different about ETH and, and say BTC, we still haven't broken this downtrend here, um, this downtrend of resistance really from the all-time high. And that, that's ultimately what I'm waiting for here. Can, can you break this? We break this. I think it's awesome. But I think this is going to be the quick back test before we do break it, right? Ultimately, um, I mean, for the macro, ETH is just continuing to hold this support, right? One touch, two touches, three touches, four touches, five touches. Continue to hold this upward support. I think everything's A-OK, -okay, right? Everything's A-OK. -okay. And, you know, you could certainly, I, I'm not going to say you can look at this as a bigger ascending triangle structure for the longer term. But, you know, you do have higher lows coming in. Horizontal resistance, do you see, you know, a longer term, you know, sort of ascending triangle pattern here? And I can certainly see this being the bottom, at least the, the short term price action. Why? Because you have a typical W reversal. Market makers love to do this, right? Low, back to the high, low, back to the high. What's different about this time is we haven't seen this on this run down yet, right? You look at Ethereum here, this whole run down was sort of just, uh, you know, not really any moves to the upside, just complete, complete utter downtrends and when you do that little bumps up you came back down you didn't hold the support and that's what's different about this time is this time you did hold support and did have a double bottom 
and they, they, they came back down and took the liquidity. So will we see that ultimate boost back to the upside? I mean, that, that's that's what we're waiting for right now for both Ethereum and a bunch of different altcoins at the moment, man. That's what we're waiting for. Uh, four hour on ETH. Let's check the four hour on ETH. The four hour. Now I'll say about the four hour, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, I, I can I already see it. I mean, it's the first thing I open the chart, I see some type of wedge formation here. You know, so, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, Jordan, there's a big rising wedge forming here on Ethereum. And I, I would look at this and say, I probably agree uh, up to a certain level here, but will, right? Will, will it play out, right? Measure move would be all the way back down at the lows. Question is, you know, is, is Ethereum going to go against the grain here, right? Sometimes you do see these break to the upside. It doesn't have to break to the downside. You have a higher chance of breaking these to the downside. Um, so keep that in mind. But I don't see Bitcoin dropping from this current level, okay? I don't see that at all. You know, that, that's the question, right? That, that That's the question. Is Ethereum going to go against Bitcoin or is it going to go follow Bitcoin? That, that's it. Um, let's see. Hasn't spiked up like the rest yet. Yeah, Ether really hasn't moved up. But I mean, that that's the basic uh, gist on Ethereum. Like I said, like uh, for most of the alts remain on BTC, you're kind of just hovering around your EMAs. Uh, you did break back below the, the, the 200 and the 5th and the 20. Holding the 50. Let's see. So you're still above the, the 50 there, which is good to see, at least at least in the short term. So that's the basic gist on ETH as far as you know, the middle macro time frame and, and sort of the short term time frames is. Will, will this break down the wedge? The question is, will this break down the wedge, come back to the lows, or will we break the uptrend of resistance first? Whichever one comes first, that, that's going to be the direction. I know, I know it sounds like, uh, you know, so, it's, so it can go up or down, Jordan. You can have all the trolls in the chat come in here and say, so you're, so, you're saying it can go up or down? Is that what you're saying? You're not giving us any direction. You're just saying, so if it breaks the resistance, it can go up, and if it breaks support, it can go down. A monkey could do that. Why do we even watch this channel? A monkey could literally give that technical analysis. You call this technical analysis? I call this technical analysis 101 for freaking newbies. That's what I call this. Like, no crap it can go up or down. Like, where, what is it going to do? Go backwards? No. It's not going to go backwards. That's not what we do here. All right? But what, what do I always tell you guys? It's not about direction. It's about ifs. You got to look at the charts as ifs. I know a lot of people don't look at that. They just want, is, is it going to go up or down? They don't look at the charts as if scenarios. Like, for, exa for example, for BTC, we go to the daily. I mean, the best way to look at this is if it breaks 46K, you have a chance of going to the mid 50Ks. If it comes down here and breaks 40K, you're probably coming back down to the, to the mid 30Ks. Right? I mean, listen, that's the way you should be looking at this market. You should not be looking at this as, you know, is it is it going to go up or down right now? That's not the way you should be looking at this. You should be looking at this as, you know, in levels, man. That's why I always say in levels. It's not so cut and dry. Everyone wants to say, you know, we're either bullish or bearish. Well, yes, I, I agree. But you want to be looking at the market as, as uh, you know, each level at a time. Looking at it as cut and dry, bullish and bearish, a lot of times is stupid, man. It is stupid. So, Take that for what you will, man. Uh, Jabba knows. Martin said, what Snapchat skin is this? Uh, Bob? Uh, Bob is fat face. <laughs> Bob's fat face. Uh, the BitBoy one is too. Not saying BitBoy's fat. That, that, that's, just, that's just the name of the, uh, of, the frac of, of, the, of the Snapchat filter. BitBoy actually lost a lot of weight, guys. I will say. BitBoy looks pretty good. BitBoy looks pretty good. Maybe I have to change who I would pick. If I, if I had to pick someone, maybe it would be BitBoy. Maybe it would be BitBoy, you know? I don't know. He seems like he'd get kind of angry sometimes. I, 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 maybe it wouldn't be. I don't think it would be BitBoy. I don't think it would be BitBoy. He seems like he'd get angry sometimes. I will say that. Uh, but, but BitBoy has me losing a little weight. So don't be hating on BitBoy, all right? Don't be hating on BitBoy anymore. Don't Bring do it. it. To learn. Some, of you guys, some of you guys just, uh, you know... I see it all the time, man. I look at his tweets. His tweets are brutal, man. He gets absolutely destroyed in his tweets. Uh, you guys are brutal in there, man. <laughs> you guys have no chill when it comes to BitBoy, man. All right, so let's go back over here. Let's see what we're looking at back over here. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, so we looked at Ethereum. Let's go back to the long-term. Let's go to the long-term charts uh, real quick on ETH. Let's see what we're looking at here. So sidebar... 
Long-term charts. Let's go look at the long-term charts, man. Let's go look at the long-term charts. <clears throat> so, right here. Clancy said, yeah, I agree. Gun go up. I think it's going to go up, too. I think it's going to go up. <clears throat> BitBoy would slap you about. I'm not, guys, what, what the heck is this? I'm not making fun of BitBoy. You guys get so sensitive in the chat, man. You really do. So sensitive in the chat. I actually said something nice about BitBoy. I said he's losing a lot of weight. You guys are like, oh, why are you talking about BitBoy? Why are you talking about BitBoy? You guys are crazy, man. You guys are crazy. Put a smile on that face, man. Put a smile on that little face of yours, all right? Put a smile on it. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go back to, let's go to long-term charts on BTC, all right? Let's go to long-term charts uh, on BTC. What is going on here, right? When we, when we look at the weekly time frame, all right? When we look at the weekly time frame, we got to get back above the uh, weekly support band, right? 20-week EMA, 50-week EMA, uh, or 50-week MA, we should say. Let's get back above, right? Let's get back above there. That's kind of the uh, that, that that's kind of the level that we got to get back above, right? I mean that's that's really it. I mean that that's really it. I mean historically, what, what we've always said, guys, that when you break below the fifty week EMA, that tends to lead you into some type of bear market, right? If you go back in the past, we broke the fifty week EMA back in twenty eighteen, came back up, retested it. That's when we that's when you went lower, right? We can even go back uh, even further than that. I don't even think I have it in this chart actually. Let me make sure it's on this chart. Yeah, so right here. Kind of the same thing, right? We held it, came back below it, we broke it, went into a bear market. Now, I'm not going to say we go back into a bear market. What I'm saying is, if we get back above it, I think that's going to be a bullish scenario, right? We get back above the 50-week, that's going to be a bullish scenario for us. Same thing with the 20-week, get back on the 20-week, that's also a bullish sign. For me, I'm not so much looking at the 20-week MA, 20-week EMA. I'm more so looking at the 50-week and the 20-week EMA. Um, I think those are two more important uh, moving average ones to look at. We get back above those, right? Confirm it as support, move back up. Things are going to be looking a lot better, and you're going to see everyone in the chat bullish again, right? That's 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 just the scenario we're at. So, you're still below, right? Nothing's really changed, right? Nothing's really changed, as Savvy would say. Nothing has changed. Right? Nothing's changed, but you know, keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind. And and I, and I think I think you can't. Here's what I'll always say, guys. Rant alert. I think uh, you can't really compare, and this is just my opinion. You can't really compare. Um, 2018 and 2014 to this current market. It's such a different market uh, based off the, but the macro stuff that's going on right now, uh, based off the, just the market caps of the cryptos that we're talking about. You can't compare apples to apples here, right? It's a completely different scenario. Right? You can't compare apples to apples. You've got to sort of look at it with a, um, I would say you've got to look at it with a, uh, a different point of view. Everyone wants to compare. You still, you still see all these freaking fractals from 2014, 2015. Uh, and listen, yes, we're looking at a blockchain backer fractal. That one's been played out for six months. That's the only reason why we look at it. But these ones from like 2014, like it's like such a different market, right? It's such a different market. It takes way more money to move the market now. Um, so keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind. We're looking at these moving averages. Is we can easily pop back above it, just like we did it right here in the 20 week, right? Historically, when you break the 20 week, it's not a good sign. We broke back below it in the summertime and easily reclaimed it, right? So you can easily reclaim this. Let's see if we do, right? Let's see if we do. Uh, let's go look at some indicators on the weekly time frame, and and this is more macro stuff, guys. I will repeat, this is more macro stuff here. Um, we have the higher lows coming in, right? Higher lows on the weekly, lower lows on RSI. So we have we had the bullish divergence confirm on the weekly time frame, right? The bullish divergence is there, right? It is there. Jordan, we don't care about your bullish divergence. Bitcoin's bearish. It has been since 69K. Why do you keep passing on hopium? No one cares about long term. We just want to short Bitcoin down to zero. That's all we want to do. That's all we want to do, Jordan. No one cares about your long-term hopium. No one. There's no more hopium left. Look at anyone in the chat, right? Look at everyone in the chat, man. That's it. That's it. Everyone's just super bearish and super, super angry at life. That's it. Everyone wants just a short Bitcoin to zero. We all gave up hope. We all gave up hope. I can see it, man. I can see it. But anyways, I'm going to continue to do my thing. Continue to do my thing. So uh, bullish divergence there on the weekly time frame. What I do like about this now we haven't uh what i'll say is uh if you look at the ichimoku cloud all right the same thing as the daily time frame we were able to get back into it confirm at the bottom as support we actually closed right at the bottom of it um the question is 
again, will we be able to bounce back to the top, right? We, we, we kind of looked at this with the, with the Gaussian channel, the daily. Um, and this is another reason why this range right here, man, this range right here, right here. It is is such a is such a big level, right? Such a big level to watch from previous highs, previous lows, previous lows, previous lows, previous highs, previous highs. Such a big level, and the weekly Ichimoku cloud, the top of it is sitting right at that range as well. So, just a ton of stuff going on right here. Are we gonna be able to get back on the weekly weekly Ichimoku cloud? I think that we will, right? I, I will stand by the fact I think we will. You know, it is what it is, right? Another thing, but you know. What I'll say is, I think it's bullish that we haven't yet, uh, we haven't yet actually broken back down below. All right, we haven't broke down below. We printed a support back in the summertime, confirmed a support back in September, came back down and hold it as support so far. So that's another thing I'm looking at there on the weekly. Uh, normally, when you're above that, you're looking pretty juicy, right? You're looking really pretty juicy. So uh, it's an Ichimoku Cloud Gaussian channel, same type of thing um, as, as sort of the daily. Now we we are kind of having that middle of the Gaussian channel on the weekly time frame acting as resistance now. So we, we sort of just dumped, it, it was support, the top of it, support, 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 until we dumped below. Now we came back up. Can we get back above this midline on the Gaussian? We get back on the midline. Well, uh, the middle, the, the top of it right now is sitting at 53,000. It's gonna move up every day incre incrementally. We get back above the midline, could be a good move to what we our target of the fractal is, which is about 56K, right? About 56K. So, still think it's going to happen, man. I still think it's going to happen. And, and it, it would match up with what we, or what I kind of expect to happen, which is a break of this, maybe even a rejection of this, and a move back down, right? And that, that's sort of what I expect to happen, at least in the short term. So, uh, keep that in mind. Matches up uh, almost perfectly there. And the last thing is the EMA ribbon. Still just below it, right? Still below it. Now, what I'll say about the, e the weekly EMA ribbon, we get back above the weekly EMA ribbon which the top of it is also at this $45,500 level. We get back above this, right? Confirm that is support. Oh, things are gonna be looking juicy, man. I'm telling you, things are gonna be looking juicy if we can get back above this level, right? And I'm gonna keep saying it, right? I'll keep saying it. I'm gonna remain bullish, man. I'm gonna remain bullish here. That's all I'm gonna do. That is all I'm gonna do. Everyone's in disbelief. I, th I think that's how it is right now. It makes sense why everyone's in disbelief because it seems like every time Bitcoin moves up, it gets rejected. I'm going to remain bullish right now. I'm going to remain bullish, man. Jordan, show the cheese chart, bro. We ain't showing the cheese chart, man. We ain't showing the cheese chart. 46K appears to be too much for BTC. That is the roadblock. Uh, yeah. I mean, we talk, we've talked about like six, seven different indicators and moving averages and resistances all in this 46K range. That's why it's such a tough cookie to crack. Right, and that's why it might take a few tries. Right, it might it, we might not break this in you know in one try. We've already tried it once, got rejected. Tried it twice, got rejected. You know, will we see? You know, w will we see Bitcoin break it on, on a third test? Will we get a third test? No one knows, right? No one knows if we're even gonna get a third test. I think we do, but I'm just one guy. I'm just one guy chilling. Um, yeah, and here talking about crypto. That's really it, man. We got Chris Six said, uh, uh, "If you the f you bullish for, y'all realize we're in a war." All right, Chris, Chris, do you realize that war is bullish for assets, man? Go look in the past. Go look in the past, Chris. You're just listening to these guys that like don't look at the past. War is bullish for assets. Okay, war is bullish for assets. Interest rate hikes. We've known about their interest rate hikes. For what six months now? We know they are coming. Okay, the people that dumped based off the knowledge of the interest rate, interest rate hikes coming in have already sold. What do you think the interest rate hikes are just going to come out and oh, everyone dump interest rate hikes? Everyone's already see, already everyone's already known that these are coming, man. It's not like some major mystery. It's not like some fud that just drops on the day of. We've known about this for six months. If it's going to scare you, you would have already dumped. The people that are already scared of the interest rate hikes, you would have already dumped. Why would you wait until it actually happened? That is dumb. Why would you wait until it actually happened? That's dumb, right? You would have already sold based off being scared of them, okay? That's a simple scenario. War is good for crypto, okay? War is good for assets, right? So you're just, you're following this narrative that's being pushed. Like, 
That's all you're doing, man. Look beyond it, okay? Look beyond it. Stop listening to these guys that don't know what they're talking about, okay? That is, right? That is the scenario, right? Keep that for what you will. Keep that for what you will, man. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. Like, listen, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna sit up here and say I'm always right because I'm not always right. But it, what I'll always say, and I'll, I'll continue to say, is, yeah. Listen, there's one way to be right on Bitcoin, and, and that's the hold. There's one way to, way to be right on high cap altcoins. That's the hold. Okay, that's my strategy. That's why I've been successful in crypto. It's the easiest strategy in the world. You buy low, you hold for higher prices. It's the easiest strategy, yet no one wants to do it. Everyone wants the, the ticket for a Lambo tomorrow, okay? And that's why everyone's salty in crypto right now. Everyone's salty in crypto right now, okay? And that's why everyone's trying to go to trading, when in reality, most traders don't make money, but you're seeing everyone trying to trade now, okay? And, and it's, it's a constant cycle. People are trying to trade. They use leverage. Whales in sideways markets, they liquidate everyone, okay? And they make money off sideways markets because they know how to, you, 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 they, they know how to manipulate the market and liquidate everyone. Because why? In sideways markets, everyone tries to trade and thinks that they're the next crypto face. You're not going to be the next crypto face. The only proven strategy in crypto is to buy and hold over time. It seems like a foreign thing. It seems like it, it's so hard. Yet, you look at the most people that made the most money in crypto. It's because they bought low and they waited. It that's so. Whoo, it's so hard. It's so hard to buy and wait. Why is it so hard to buy and wait? Why are you trying to become the next crypto face? You're not going to be the next crypto face. I'm telling you. Stop trying to trade with freaking leverage. These people that try to trade, they don't make their money off their trades. They make it off their freaking Bybit links that they sell you and their freaking indicators that don't freaking work. That's how they make their money. And I'm just being real with you guys because it's true. I know it's true. I've talked to some of these people, okay? I know it's true, all right? So you guys can you guys can say oh this that this that try to trade the market you're just gonna keep getting liquidated try to try to trade the market man you might make some money short term but I, I, over the course of time you'll make that one trade that liquidates your portfolio all right go ahead do it have patience wait in the market that's really all it is people try to trade people try to make this like this this hard freaking thing but it's not it's really not man it's not so. I'm going to end my rant there. Rant okay? to you guys can take it for what you will. I'm going to chill with my strategy. Hodlers always have the last laugh, man. We always have the last laugh. I already did have my laugh, okay? I already, let's be honest. I already did have my laugh, okay? If I want to be real here. I already did. But I want you guys to have the last laugh too. So keep that, take that for what you will, all right? Have patience, man. Stop trying to be the next crypto face. You're not going to be the next crypto face. You're not going to take a, a $1,000 trading portfolio and turn it into a freaking $10 million trading portfolio. Yeah, it's not going to be you. That's not going to be you, okay? If you if you think you're going to do it, do it. Try it, right? I mean, listen, I'm not going to tell you guys not to try it, but you should always have a hodling stack on the side, all right? If you want to become a trader, try it. I'm not going to kill your dreams here, but it's the reality of the situation, man. It is. It is, all right? I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm done. <laughs> Rick the back said you're in the red. <laughs> At this point, I wish I was in the red. To join any guy's misery. All right. Uh, let's see. So, anyways, now that now that I got uh, most of that out of here, most of that got out of here. Where's the wig? Uh, the wig is not uh, is not present at the moment. Well, it's over here. It's over here. No one spun today, right? No one spun today. Everyone's crabby today. Maybe I'm a little crabby today. Maybe I'm crabby. Maybe you guys are making me crabby in the chat today, right? But you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real, man. Hold on. I'm a little blurry right now, guys. I'm a little blurry right now. Um, <laughs> let's see. Clint said, spin, please. Sorry you're getting a haircut on YouTube, taking their cut, but haven't gotten to bypass link. Wait, what? Clint said, spin, please. Sorry you're getting a haircut on YouTube, taking their cut. Uh, but haven't gotten to the bypass link yet. Gotcha, gotcha, Clint. Gotcha, Clint. Yeah, I put that in there. I mean, listen, I mean, you guys can do what you want to do. I don't care. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Um, bypass link. Smash up those likes, guys. If you thought that rant was good, let me know. I thought that was one of the best rants I've ever did. That that came as a serious passion, man. That came from serious passion. Seriously.
not. Um, you're hungover? No, nah, I'm not hungover. I haven't had one drink today, guys. Seriously. <laughs> I haven't. I really haven't had one drink today. Let me do it. Uh, rant rating. Rant rating. One to four. One, two, three, and four. One terrible rant. Four, great rant. Let me know in thy chat. Let me know. <laughs> Pataka, if you get me demonetized, man, I'm going to be pissed. Don't be saying shit as I say it twice. Don't be saying shit in the super chats, all right? Appreciate you, though. <laughs> I'm surprised to even uh, let you do that, man. Now everyone's going to do swear words. Oh, God. Everyone's going to do swear words. In the... I, I already know where this is going. I already know where this is going, man. Um, all right. Dale, I mean, uh, Clint wanted me to spin. Let's go see. Let's do a spin for Clint real quick. And uh, we'll see what Bitcoin's doing. So 42,169. Bitcoin is uh, kind of just chilling. I mean, it's not doing too much at the moment. Um, it's just kind of coming down. I mean, we can look at the next support levels. Uh, let's move our fractal over here real quick. You know, listen, I mean, we're still holding this range right here. I mean, this is the big range. Let me actually just move this line down here real quick. We're still just holding this support level right here, right? You guys can see the previous support looking left right here. We're just holding that as support right there. That's all we're doing, right? That's all we're doing. And we kind of said that even if Bitcoin does come a little bit lower, we could be creating some bullish divergence on the four hour with the stock RSI bottomed out. And that's going to be a setup that you want to see for a possible reversal back to the upside, right? So I don't mind what Bitcoin's doing. I don't mind it whatsoever. Let's do a, uh, let's do a spin for Clint. I really hope it's not Chug. Anything but Chug, man. Oh, God. It's always bad when I do respin. I always get something bad when it's respin. All right, let's do it. Clint, safe, brother. I think that's like the second safe I've ever gotten. Sorry, Clint. Sorry, Clint. You know, it is what it is at this point, man. Uh, but anyways, you know, let's see if he holds, right? Let's see what's hold. 41,756 holds. That's going to be the level we want to see hold at, at the end of the day, man. That's going to be it. Uh, let's see. Kennedy Kennedy said, what did Kennedy say? Don't rant any juicy micro craps out there, but I'm not, I'm not a huge micro crap guy. Listen, I, I'm more of a safer uh, investor. I mean, I, I stick to generally the, the top 50 coins. Uh, I mean, as far as like low, my low cap coins, I mean, there's a couple ones that I've held for a while. It's only because I held them for a while that I still have them. But, um, you know, listen, as we move down the list here, uh, I mean, <laughs> outside the top 50, I like Harmony 1. It's 52. I don't know, I don't think you consider that low cap, but, you know, I like Harmony. I mean, at this point, Harmony is a one, almost a $2 billion coin. I mean, it, listen, that, that has a lot of upside in my opinion. Um, I still like, I still think Gala, I think st still think Gala has some move to the upside, man. I like Gala for the longer term. Um, QNT, a lot of people love QNT. I still think QNT has some uh, upside to the upside. I mean, $1.5 billion market cap still has I'm some so good sorry. upside. My um, definitely not AMP. Definitely not AMP, man. Uh, <laughs> I know people love AMP. Maybe at some point AMP moves up. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not genuinely a lower cap guy. I mean, the ones that I do hold are ones that I held for a while. Um, some gaming ones. Uh, chain games. Um is one that I held for a while, but listen, I, I, generally, I generally stick to the top 50, right? I generally stick to the top 50, my guy. You know what I mean? Tonic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch Savvy right now to compare. Savvy? You watch Savvy, man. Listen, I, I'll tell you this right now. Watching Savvy, uh, a quick rant. Rant alert. All watching Savvy is going to do, unless you're a trader, okay? If you're a trader, you can watch Savvy. But if you're a hodler, if, if you want to watch Savvy, all it's going to do is make you miss out on moves, man. If you listened to Savvy in 2020, you would have missed out on the entire bull run for Bitcoin and altcoins. If, if you were around in, in crypto in 2020 and you thought Savvy was a messiah, okay, you would have missed out on the entire 2020 and 2021 bull run. You would have done it, right? And you got crypto bags that I make money up and down. Listen, if you were in for the whole bull market in 2020 and 2021, you wouldn't even care about making money up or down. It's as simple as that, man. 
That's why I always say buy and hold. You're around for one crypto bull market for Bitcoin and altcoins. That's, I mean, listen, I mean, that's at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like that, that that's going to trump you trying to trade these little micro moves, man. That's just the reality of the situation. I mean, you get some of these altcoins at, at the bottom and the, the ba bottom of the barrel prices. You, you're trying to, you're trying to make this like difficult process hard. It, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's, I'm not going to make the same uh, rant that I just did earlier because you guys are sick of my rants at this point. Um, let's see. Uh, Pawtucket said, crap, I think some of you need to make need to smoke a bull. I agree, Pawtucket. I agree. Everyone's like super, uh, Can you I, I will say, it's weird. It's weird. Like, I, I don't get, I don't get what's going on today. Right, everyone's kind of, uh, it's like the opposite of two days ago. Two days ago, everyone was super excited. Everyone's getting super hyped. Uh, everyone's bullish. We got, we, all of a sudden we have two red days and everyone's flipping bearish and everyone's like screaming for the hills. Like Bitcoin's done. It's crazy. It's crazy. Maybe the bulls are just chilling. Okay, that's what I hope. I hope the bulls are just taking a little hibernation and maybe they come out here soon. Um, but I mean, it's kind of what the chat looks like. But Tucket said, dude, I'm so sorry, man. My shoot auto to shit. <laughs> I don't care, man. Listen, I, I, my, my stream gets demonetized about 50% of the time. I always tell you guys, I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I swear or I say something inappropriate every single day. So it, the, the chances of my stream getting demonetized is pretty high. It's pretty high anyways. So, but th th thanks for saying, uh, thanks for saying, uh, sorry for talking. I appreciate that, man. <clears throat> Let's see. Vitalik is not impressed. But that looks a little impressed today, I think. Happy and clappy. Vitalik is impressed. Crypto is tiring. It is, man. That's why I ranted to you guys yesterday. It's like, I told you guys, like, crypto's boring right now. And you guys are like, all right, Jordan, why are you not, like, super enthusiastic and stuff? Like, I try to be, right? I try to be, but, like... <laughs> I'm in the same boat as you guys. I, I hold crypto. It would be different if I wasn't, uh, if I didn't hold crypto, right? I mean, uh, it, when Bitcoin, when, when crypto has been at the same prices that's been at for the past year, I mean, for the past, I mean, we're almost coming up on the past year and a half, right? I mean, that's just, the, that's just the reality of the situation. Until we start breaking some of these key levels, right? And the first one to me is 46K. I mean, we're still just chilling. I think we're gonna. It doesn't mean that I don't think we're gonna break it soon. I do think we're gonna break it soon. Like I said, the next couple of days, I think Bitcoin breaks forty six k. You can quote me on that. Quote me on that, guys. Get hold that to me, right? And if it doesn't happen, I want you guys to call me out, right? Because I don't care about taking the L. I don't care. Still think we break forty six k in the next couple of days. But what I'll say this is uh, is this is this. Um, I mean, that's just the reality of the situation, man. <laughs> The market's been going, uh, for the most part, sideways slash down for the past uh, year and, like I said, man, I mean, I, I guess say more of a year and three months for the most part, man. You're turning into George. You're turning into George. Georgie, Georgie, George. All right. Macro stuff. Let's go look at some macro stuff. Let's go over there to the macro uh let's see stock market stock market i mean kind of just another uh, kind of a down day today but still in the 50 ma uh just to repeat again like i keep repeating and we actually have something very very interesting look at the dxy i know you guys don't want to look at the dxy but i'm telling you guys right now this what i'm seeing on the dxy is going to be the turning point i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now man what we're seeing on the dxy is going to be the turning point we're gonna look at that next but real quick in the s p we continue to hold the 50 ema uh, which is fine, right? Which is fine. And we're not getting a massive bounce at the moment, but we got, we still got tomorrow. Let's see what happens tomorrow. It's Friday. Um, uh, at the end of the day, haven't really seen a massive bounce off the 50 EMA. We'll see if it holds. I mean, next week, obviously we can open and pump back up, but let's just hold the 50 EMA. Historically, we break this, we go to the 200. So we don't want to see that. That would probably wouldn't be pretty good for any market, but let's, let's wait to see what happens in the S&P. Now let's talk about the DXY real quick, right? We know what we're looking for here. Hey, just to, just to kind of summarize real quick. Every time we test this trend line, we see massive uh, rallies for either stocks or, or crypto, right? Just to, just, to, just to summarize, right? January 2017, bull market, massive move for crypto, 
right? Right here, March of 2020, massive move for crypto, both on retest of this. You have a slight wick up here because of the pandemic, right? So j just keep that in mind. We're coming, we're fastly coming up to this level on the monthly time frame, right? Fastly, fastly coming to this level. Still could have another month or two of upwards action on this, right? Which is historically bearish for crypto, but let's see. You look at the daily, right? You also have a rising wedge going into this resistance, right? So take this for what you will, but listen, you get two bearish, you get a big resistance coming up with a rising wedge formation, right? Will this see a move back to the downside, which will result in crypto having another rally, right? And actually someone sent it, who is it? Um, crap, someone sent this to me on Twitter. I'll mention who it is after, but uh, right here, right, right here, man. If you look at the DXY, it's also forming a perfect uh, distribution, right? Perfect wick off distribution here. And you might be saying, Jordan, we don't care about wick off distribution if it's not Bitcoin, right? But if you look at this, look at how this resembles the wick off distribution so far. I mean, you can't even say that this does not look similar, all right? You got the BC, you got the AR, ST, SOW, okay? UT came back down again came back up again, and it, you would be at the UTAD part, right? You still could go a little bit higher here, like we said, right? But you would be at the UTAD spot. If this plays out, and this continues to play out like it is here, that would, okay, in, in theory, right? That would be extremely bullish for crypto. You guys might hate right now. You guys might hate on this right now. But if it plays out, all right, I want you to come back here and tell me that, Jordan, you are the best, all right? For multiple different things that we're noticing on the DXY, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. All right. Uh, if you want to be a no coiner, go ahead. I'm telling you guys right now, for all you no coiners out there, for all you no coiners out there and people that are going to be continually scared to buy any type of dip that Bitcoin has, right? I'm telling you, you guys are going to regret it. I'm telling you, because when 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 we get this next move to the upside, I'm telling you guys right now, you're going to be in disbelief the whole way up. You're not going to buy until Bitcoin's at all-time highs. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to. You're not going to have the balls to. You're going to be calling a dead cat bounce the whole way up. Dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce. I'm not saying it happens right now, okay? I, I've been kind of saying that I think Bitcoin goes to the mid-50Ks right now, all right? And then we kind of can decide what we want to do from there. But I, when the next run starts, I'm telling you guys right now, you're going to want to be in crypto. You're not going to want to mix the next run, sir. Run so, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Call me crazy now, but we'll see, man. We'll find out, right? Um, something tells me, something tells me by the end of 2022, I'll be sitting here laughing while everyone's salty again. Something tells me, man. I'll be sitting here having fun on my stream, playing the pump music. By the end of 2021, we'll see another, 2022, we'll see another run. And we'll be playing the pump music on stream. You have the bears being super, super salty, saying Bitcoin's going down the whole time. Something tells me, man. Something tells me I'm having patience, and I think it's going to happen, man. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say on that. Uh, Kennedy said, rough F year was a tough learning curve. Yikes. Oh, it was a tough learning curve. That's why I've told you guys the biggest thing I learned in 2021 was taking more profits on the way up. I'm not going to make that same mistake over and over and over again of not taking profits on the way up. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, bro. I'm not going to do it. Um... So let's see. Shane said, who is watching this and is a no coiner? A lot of people are. Who's a no coiner in the chat? Let me know. We also have a four, a 43% of a four on the rant rating. I think that might be the highest of all time. That came from the heart, guys. That rant came from the heart, man. That that one earlier came from the heart, bro. I actually generally mean that. So take that for what you will. Um, but a lot of people, a lot of people are no coiners, man. You'd be very, very surprised. If you're a no coiner, let me know in the chat. Let me know. Jordan holding out for more ship. <laughs> Listen, I buy more ship. I buy more ship. It is what it is, man. Pop music live from Vegas. High limit. Listen, man, I'm excited. Jeff, are you go Jeff, are you going to Vegas, man? Let me know. It's going to be so fun. I'm looking forward to that so much, man. I'm looking forward to that so much. Uh, I really am. It's going to be a great time. An absolute great time. I can't believe the... Hang out with a lot of you guys. I'm excited to see who goes. A lot of you guys, uh, I know I know people who are going, but um, you know, uh, to see who goes that I don't really know is going, it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting because I'm going to be like, who are you? And you're going to tell me your name or, or your username, which is going to be interesting. Like, oh, what's going on? I'm a, you know, 
I, I, I'm, I'm, this is my name and it's going to be your username. I'm just going to be so thrown off. Like, why are you telling me your username, bro? Why are you not telling me your name? I'm going to be so freaking confused. So confused. Uh, let's see. Live in Vegas? Live in Vegas? Yeah, I want to do it, man. We'll see how the internet is down there. I mean, you never know with the internet at these hotels, right? So if the internet's good, we'll be ready to rock. And I'll definitely stream down there if the, if the internet's good. 100%, right? Clint said, spin again, please. I only have 20 minutes then off to a work meeting. So try to spin quickly if you don't mind. <laughs> Thanks, Clint, man. I got you. I got you on the spin right now, Clint. Let's spin for Clint real quick. Just a quick spin, guys. Nothing crazy. Spin again, please. I only have 20 minutes then off to a work meeting. So <laughs> it's my lucky day today. Safe. Safe two times in a row, man. What are the chances? It's my lucky day after two pretty rough days on that. I would say rough days. I mean, the first day I had four $50 giveaways, two chugs. The first day sucked, man. That, that was one of the worst days ever. Uh, as, far as, the, as far as the spin wheel, I had to do the wig. Today we got two safes. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm feeling lucky today. Feeling very, very lucky, man. Uh, you know the song, man. We, we're up all night to get lucky. You know how it is. We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get <laughs> rigged. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's not rigged. Um, <laughs> rigged. I'll be in Vegas at the end of this month. There you go, crunk. At the end of this month. Well, you're probably going to be there a week before I am at this point. Ah, uh, Bitcoin's doing what it normally does here, guys. I think we're going to see a move here. Uh, it could be tonight. It could be tonight. I mean, if it was to play out like it did last time, and I know it's just a fractal. We can't take fractals 100%, but if it was to play out like it did last time, maybe we expect a move up tonight, All right? Maybe we expect that tonight. So let's find out, man. Let's find out. Uh, anything else I really want to talk about there on the macro? We looked at the DXY. I told you guys my thought process on the DXY. Uh, let's check out the Bitcoin dominance. Anything really crazy going on Bitcoin dominance? Let's check out Bitcoin dominance. So Bitcoin dominance is, let's see, anything crazy going on? Let's go to the weekly on the Bitcoin dominance. Get a little bit more zoomed out here. Eh, let's go to the daily. Let's go to the daily. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm feeling bullish on the daily time frame right now. Uh, DXY. So, I mean, I know a lot of people were watching this wedge and we actually broke it to the upside. Uh, a lot of people were like, oh, altcoin season starting, right? We have a rising wedge here, right? Which is gonna break down the downside. This is why I always say, just like we saw with Ethereum earlier, Sometimes these rising wedges can break to the upside, right? So you saw that on the, on the uh, right here, right? And this could just be a, what you're getting right now, it could be a back test. Like if you wanted to draw this as a flag, it could just be a back test of this before a continuation up. Um, you know, Bitcoin dominance is just rising, man. It's just rising right now. So let's watch the Bitcoin dominance. I, 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 I think right now there's still a lot of uncertainty. So it makes sense why Bitcoin is outpacing all coins right now. It makes a lot of sense. Right? When there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, people flee to Bitcoin because it's considered a more safer asset when, I mean, all crypto is kind of a risky asset. I don't think it's risky. You know what? Can we, can I, can I say one thing real quick? You guys are sick of my rants today. Rant alert. People always say like crypto is a risky asset. I would say altcoins are a risky asset. I would not say Bitcoin is a risky asset. People who say Bitcoin is a risky asset are looking at this as a, as a freaking short-term investment, man. If you can, if you actually look at Bitcoin, right? If you look at Bitcoin and look at its history, to say that it's a risky asset is dumb. You know, it is. You might be saying, "Oh, it's highly volatile." I, I would say something that's ho highly volatile is like this: bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Something that goes like this is not. That, that, I don't consider that volatile. I consider that just going to the, to one way. This to me is volatile. This to me is not volatile. It's a big difference, right? To say that Bitcoin's a risky asset, I, I don't believe in that, man. I, I, I don't think that's true at all. I do not think that's true at all. I think Bitcoin is actually one of the safer investments. Why? Because it's it's crushed it year after year after year after year after year. Altcoins, okay. I mean, some of them could go to zero. You never know. Bitcoin, I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, I think it's more risky to invest in stocks than it is Bitcoin based off, uh, you know, uh, how should I say this? Um... Risk versus reward, right? Risk versus reward. <laughs> I think it's dumb to invest in stocks over over crypto. That's just my opinion. Yeah, crypto could go down 80% in a year. But what we've seen is, I mean, it, things go up even higher at some point after that. So you got to be patient a lot of times. It's not, always not overnight, but 
I think that's how it kind of works. All right, so Bitcoin kind of coming down a little bit right now, 41,700, right? I think Job is very, very excited right now. Let's go see what Job is doing, guys. Let's go see what Job is doing. Rant alert. I told all you guys to short. I told all you guys to short. That's what you all did. Yeah, we're all making money. Savvy, isn't this awesome? Savvy, let's go, Savvy. Woo! I told you guys, nothing has changed. I told you we were going back down to the downside. I told you we were going back down to the downside. Clear Elliott way back to the downside. I told you guys this at the beginning of the stream. You didn't listen to me. We're going back down to the downside. Listen to me next time, all right? You guys got to listen to me next time, guys. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, okay? Nothing has changed. Elliott wave to downside, all right? That's how it's going to continue to play out. I'm going to give it back to Jordan now, uh, but he doesn't know anything. He's an absolute clown. As I said, guys, Jordan is an absolute clown. Don't listen to that guy. I'm going to give it back to him, okay? See ya. All right, guys. So we're getting a little bit more to the outside. 41,682. What's going down here, man? Um, so 41,680. Will we come back down to the 201 hour EMA? That's going to be the question right now, man. That is going to be the question. So 41,338 is the 200 EMA. Will it hold, right? Will it hold? I can already see all the, all the trolls in the chat. Oh, Bitcoin's dumping. You said it was gonna pump, Jordan. No one knows short term, okay? No one knows short term, all right? I still think we're going up, all right? I still think we are going up. Call me crazy. Call me crazy all you want. I still think we're going back up to the upside. Don't trade off my advice. I always say that, but I still think we're going up, man. Just chill. Just chill, chill, chill. Um, Teju said stacks, STX, boss. I got you, Teju. I got you, man. Let's go look at stacks for Teju. Stacks, dollar, STX. Uh, upside down stacks. Let's go stack some stacks here. So stacks is... I know stack. I always see stacks... I feel like every time I look at stacks on coin market cap, it's always one of like the top gainers, top losers. Uh, I, I always notice that for some reason. Very volatile, I've noticed. Um, it's coming down to its previous lows in the daily. Um, I and mean, what you want to see here, it looks like it is dropping back down to this, this this support level. But it makes sense to come back down and test this right now, right? And your hope is is the classic W reversal, right? And the market maker is going to come back down, take liquidity to the lows, and move yourself back up. That's going to be the question, right? That's the question right now. Let's go to the four hour on this uh we did looks like it did we break did bring a trend line coming up here right there we broke that to the downside even looks like we actually came back up and back tested as resistance so now we're moving back down question is like we said you gotta hold this support right here at about 110 right T come back down take this wick and continue back to the upside with bitcoin it's gonna depend on what bitcoin does but what i do like about stacks and what what bitcoin could be doing relatively shortly here is let me actually just get rid of this trend line here i'll just use this actually what I do like is if this plays out, you would have bullish divergence, right? You would have higher lows and you would have lower lows on the four hour time frame. Will this play out as bullish divergence, right? That that, that would obviously be the bullish scenario. You take low to high and you actually look at this. Would, so you're breaking the 3A2. I think the most logical area for a bounce would be at this point would be the 0.5 fib at about 113. But that, but that's that's a Bitcoin bounces, which I do think it will, which I do think it will, and that would be a scenario that that, that you continue back up to the upside, 
I, I still think that happens. So I would watch 113, watch for a bullish divergence there at 113, right? With higher lows, lower lows. And then you can go from there, right? Hourly is probably showing a relatively the same thing. Yeah, so lower lows, higher lows, exaggerated bullish divergence. Let's see if it plays out, man. Let's see if it plays out. But we gotta see what Bitcoin does. 41.6. Let's see if Bitcoin's actually forming that here. Uh, smash up the like button. All the bears, smash up the like button for Bitcoin dumping. I thought that's what you, all you guys wanted to say, see today. Bitcoin dumping. Um, is Bitcoin gonna do the same thing? Let's actually take a swing low to swing high on BTC here and see what we could be looking at here. Uh, coming, I, I think the 0.5 fib makes some sense here. And, and that would also make sense for the same reason, right? Where you're gonna have, you would have higher lows and you would have lower lows on the RSI, right? If you come down a little bit lower. So I, 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 know, I know seeing red is always like, oh my gosh, there's red. Oh my gosh, there's red on BTC. Well, I mean, I would say that all this would be at the moment would just be a back test of the four hour 200, right? Bullish divergence off the 0.5 fib, a lot of confluence there. Doesn't mean it has to hold, but there's a lot of confluence right around, uh, I mean, it's really right around 41,200 to the 200 EMA down to like 40,800. So I think a $400 range here that I could see Bitcoin bouncing. Uh, let's just see, let's watch and see what that happens, man. Let's, let's watch this general range right here, right here, between the 0.5 FIB and the 200 EMA. Let's watch that level right there. Let's put that as support. See if we bounce from there. I have, I have a feeling that we're gonna bounce from there, man. I really, really do. You just smell your foot? No. Okay, she said no, guys. We're, we're safe, we're safe. <laughs> we're safe here. Um, let's see. One minute shot, guys. Said, I want to, I want, I want, just want this inverse head and shoulders to play out. Me too, man. Me too. It's not, it's not denied yet. I know people say, oh, it's denied. We denied the inverse head and shoulders. I don't think so. I don't think so whatsoever. Right. I mean, you could certainly, you can come down all the way down to this previous support here and it'll still play out. Right. Cause this could turn to a two wick. Right. This could simply just be a wick below. Let's see. Let's see what happens for BTC. And you might be saying, all right, Jordan, we're breaking back below this previous uh, neckline here, right? We talked about how you didn't want to break down below this daily downtrend of resistance. Well, that's that that's what's important about the closes. You want to close above this downtrend of resistance. You get you get a uh, you get a wick. Who cares about a wick? I'm not going to get out of bed for a wick, right? Ben Cowan's not going to get about get out of bed for a wick. Jordan's not going to get out of, out of bed for a wick, right? We want to see closes. So yes, could we drop below this right now? Absolutely, freaking Lully, we could drop below this right now. Would it, would it bug me? No, no, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm still sticking by my thesis. Uh, I keep going to the thesis. It's like, it's like I, I, I try to make myself so smarter than I am. Yeah, that, that's, I'm sticking with my thesis. I'm sticking with my thesis. I sound like some like, uh, like uh, eighth grade teacher. It's my thesis that Bitcoin will bounce from the 0.5 Fibonacci, guys. It is my thesis. Um, I, I've done a lot of tests. Uh, you know, in, in, I've done a lot of research papers and done so much research on this. It is my thesis that Bitcoin will bounce from there. I have a PhD. Don't get me wrong, guys. I have a PhD in technical analysis. I do think we're going back to the upside. I, it is my thesis. I, I have hypothesized this over and over and over again. We will move back to the upside, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Uh, I sound like a freaking eighth grade teacher, man, with this thesis. All right. So let's watch, right? Let's watch. Let's watch and see. Feces. <laughs> Bully Bulldog said, Jordan, don't worry. We know your brain size. My brain size? Uh, it could be small. It could be small. But I'll, but I'll say, even if it's small, I use the full capacity. If it's small, I use the full capacity. If it's big, I use uh, almost none of it. So t pick your poison, man. Pick your poison. Willie said, I get out of bed with a big wick every morning. <laughs> with a big wick? You get out of bed for a big pickle or a big wick? That can mean two very, very different things. If you get out of bed with a big pickle, hey, congrats. If you get out of bed with a big wick, it's a little, it's a little bit skeptical. A little bit skeptical what you're doing in there if you come out with a wick, right? Pickle, that's one thing. I come out of bed with a big pickle too every morning. But a wick, eh, it depends on the morning, I guess. <laughs> it depends on the morning. Let's see. 
Don't let the thesis fall to pieces. The thesis. You sound like an MIT professor. Professor, facts, absolute facts. Uh, all right. So we're just kind of just chilling, watch, watching Bitcoin dump at the moment. I know it's not exciting to chill and watch Bitcoin dump. But that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. Looking for a move at the moment. Um, Forty-one about. Three is the first level I'm watching here. You get the 50 EMA coming up at that level, and you also have the 400, uh, or sorry, the 200 EMA on the one hour, also at that level. So that's the first level I'm watching there. Also correlates with the 0.5 Fibonacci. For anyone that's coming in now, hourly RSI is getting pretty close to oversold. Uh, four hour is pretty close to making bullish divergence. Um, so there are some good things happening on the uh, as far as indicators goes, uh, as far as oversold and, and bullish divergences here. You know, those don't have to play out, but I mean, those that's what you want to see when the price is going down. So there's some good things that are playing out here. Doesn't mean it has to play out like we said, but um, take that for what you will. Take that for what you will. Um, let's see. You sound like BitBoy? BitBoy. BitBoy. I don't sound like BitBoy. Let's see. Hope you're having some cheese with a... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds brutal. All right, Bitcoin's coming down, guys. Wow! I'm scared. I see too much red. It's like when I put too much ketchup on my meatloaf and I can't taste it. I just want to taste my meatloaf. There's too much ketchup on it. Too much red. I can't take this. I cannot even take this. There's too much ketchup on my on my meatloaf. Mom, bring me another one quick before I have a... No. No. I'm actually, I'm not going to do that. I got to be careful what I do sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to do that. But uh, Clint, one last spin. But I nominate DJ to run with, run with this is to with this is you lose. If he isn't available, then I nominate Denise as secondary. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So DJ then Denise, uh, as far as order goes. Let's do one more spin for uh, Clint here. Clint, you're a stud, man. Let's do it. Please don't be anything bad. All right, tweet. DJ, you can pick a tweet. All right. <laughs> I would say that the tweet I did to Ben yesterday was a little bit, uh, a little bit too much. Uh, DJ, pick a tweet. Keep it relatively civil, okay? Keep it relatively civil. Um, I know Ben has a Ben Cowan has a good sense of humor, so uh, he always makes fun of his own hairline. So I, I didn't feel too bad about that one. Keep it relatively civil, okay? But you can let me know, DJ. Let me know, DJ. Philip said, "Sold this dip for this super chat wrecked." You sold the dip, Philip. Come on, man. You know what? You know not to do that. I'm gonna buy the top and I'm gonna sell the bottom, guys. Don't be SpongeBob. Don't be SpongeBob, Phil. Uh, thirty-nine thousand one forty-six. What's going down here? Where's DJ? If DJ's not in here, Denise, it's all yours. Cause I know Denise is in here. <laughs> Let's see. Waiting for one of them. Waiting for one of them patiently here. Waiting for one of them. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Smack on the like button while we wait for DJ or Denise, though. Smack it. Smack it, smack it, smack it. Maybe the reason why DJ and Denise are not in here, maybe... I saw them a couple... I saw them a couple minutes ago. Okay? I saw them a couple minutes ago. <laughs> oh, look at everyone. I can tell everyone's upset right now. I can tell everyone's upset, man. Holy moly, man. The chat. The chat is just brutal lately, man. You guys are brutal lately, man. I gotta say, I gotta say, you guys are brutal. I appreciate you guys being here, though. I do. Uh, 
DJ's long gone. Long gone. All right. Hopefully they know what anger the neighbor is. All right. All right. 41,432. People are saying they think this is news related. Uh, something about, uh, I don't, I'm going to keep this civil. Something about a thing that goes, well, I'll say a, a nuclear, nuclear thing in Ukraine is going down right now. Can someone confirm to me in the chat? Can someone confirm to me in the chat that this is what is going down? Let me know in the chat. Let me know. Uh, Drew said, I love this crap. Get everyone scared. I agree. I agree, man. Listen, I, I can tell that everyone is scared in the chat because no one has a no one has a sense of humor today. In, in, in two days ago, everyone had a sense of humor. Now today, no one has a sense of humor. I can just tell in the chat. Lipchi, you say good night, Jordan. Uh, good night, Jordan. Wait, I'm confused, Lipchi. You say good night, then you ask a question. Let's see. Uh, Lipchi, you say good night, Jordan. I'm so confused. I'm still shocked at this. You say good night, then you ask the question, Lipchi. Uh, Lich, Lichby. Lichby Basanuk. I think I'm saying your name right. What are your thoughts on Soul? Do you think Soul is the same move like Lona? Uh, I And I put a hot pepper on the wheel. Put a hot pepper on the wheel? <sighs> I think I'd rather do that. Sometimes I'd rather do that than a chug. I will say. So maybe I'll put a hot pepper on the wheel. Maybe I'll do it, man. Not, nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy, I see. Um, Russia, largest nuclear power plant on fire after Russian attack. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> that's good stuff. Uh, no, it's not. I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I guess I shouldn't kid around about that. It's not good. That's definitely not good. Uh, I don't know if that's going to have anything to do with the crypto i mean short term it might short term short term it might uh it might uh <laughs> have an effect right because people get absolutely uh destroyed right destroyed lb crypto said i'm not in the mood to laugh when when a lot of my okay that makes sense that makes sense i, will, I won't say that whole thing <laughs> let's see just a ghost pepper? I'm not doing a ghost pepper. No ghost pepper. I'm not doing that, man. I'm definitely not doing that. And, but yeah, we can check out... Uh, what are your thoughts on Soul? Do you think Soul is the same as Luna? I mean, you got to remember, Soul already kind of had it. I mean, Soul... Soul, I mean, you got to remember, Soul in 2021 was one of the best gainers in 2021, okay? So, I mean, it already kind of did what Luna did, okay? And if we go back in time, I think a lot of people forget. A lot of people have short-term memories or just weren't around... Uh, I mean, Seoul did this in 2021, right? So let's not forget, right? Seoul went from $1 to $260 in one year, okay? It did a 260X in one freaking year, right? So keep that in mind. It already kind of did what Luna did. Doesn't mean it can't do it again. It definitely doesn't mean it can't do it again. But, yeah, I mean, like we said, for a lot of these alts, we're waiting on BTC. I mean, that, that's that's... That's the uh, that's a simple fact right now. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are talking about like some type of falling wedge on on Seoul for the longer term here. Um, something like this. I mean, it, this is obviously kind of. Uh, I mean, I would say this is not hopium, but I, I would say that. I mean, this still could go down lower if it wants to, right? It still go down lower if it wants to. Um, it does have bullish divergence, so you have lower lows, higher lows coming in. So you're, you're showing a little bit of, of seller exhaustion at the moment, but uh, you, you can't. I, I would say you can't get too excited until we see Bitcoin's next move. Bitcoin breaks 46k, you'll see altcoins run. Until then, people are going to be a little bit afraid to pump up these alts, right? Now, certain alts are already pumping, but you're sort of waiting on. You really are waiting on Bitcoin to break 46, and I think that'll give people a lot of confidence once Bitcoin does break 46. Right, but right now, eh, we're sort of um, sort of waiting on Bitcoin for the most part, man. Uh, just be bullish became a member. Thank you for becoming a oh oh just be bullish. I love it, man. They, they, thank you for becoming a member, man. Thanks for being positive too. Thanks for having a positive username by just be bullish. That's awesome. <clears throat> Am I supposed to make a tweet? Oh yeah, uh, Denise, 
You got to make a tweet. Keep it somewhat civil. Somewhat civil. N nothing crazy. All right. Somewhat civil, but whatever you want. All right. Anyone to anyone, whatever you want to say, keep it somewhat civil. No personal attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's like a, a, a known joke that everyone talks about, okay? Um, like for me, if someone was like, oh, your hairline sucks, I wouldn't be mad at that. I think it would be funny. Everyone said, people say that every single day. You, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, dude. Jordan, you should see the S&P futures after the Ukraine news. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be bad. I'm sure it's going to be real bad. Um, I'm sure it is. Drew said, dude, it's fast how fast the sentiment changes. It's true. I mean, Drew, just think about it this way, Drew. Drew, I mean, you know better than anyone, man. Drew, I would say, Drew, Drew is one of the smartest people I know in crypto, man. Everything he says makes so much sense. And he also watches he also watches uh, Tino a lot, which I like. And Tino, I, I watched Tino today. Uh, I've been watching like pretty much all of Tino's videos. I, I love Tino. He's really good at reading the market. I mean, sentiment is changing a lot. I, I, <laughs> I think a lot of you guys forget two days ago we were getting hyped, man. Two days ago we were getting hyped. We we're getting moved back down, okay? And listen, I, I don't know what's going to happen in the short term. Obviously, news can play an effect on certain things, right? News can certainly have an effect. Uh, I think it's a short-term effect. Uh, I will say that. I think it's a short-term effect. You're probably seeing, a little, probably people, seeing people sell off right now because of this news, right? I mean, that's a simple fact. People get spooked in the short term about certain news, right? So, I mean, that's probably what you're seeing right now, but um, let's see if one of these levels holds, man. Let's see if one of these levels holds. I, I will say this. I mean, I I'll go back to Monday, right? Everyone's panicking about this. I'll go back to Monday and say this, right? Uh, Monday was supposed to be one of the most red days ever. Futures were getting wrecked, right? S&P futures wrecked, NASDAQ futures wrecked, uh, and th there was the threat, Russia threat, threat, threatening uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, on Sunday night uh, going into Monday, right? Monday was supposed to be one of the most bearish days possible for crypto, right? People were saying, oh, crypto is going to dump 10. I remember people saying it's going to be one of the worst days for crypto. It's going to be a bloodbath. What did crypto do? It pumped to the upside. I'm not going to say it's going to happen again, right? But you, you're going to see, right now you're seeing a short-term sell-off. You're, you're seeing a sell-off right now. Let's see what happens going into tomorrow, right? This stuff happens, man. It is what it is. Philip said, you know what to do, a spin. We can do it. Denise said, uh, tweet Elon to check if he accepts Shiba yet and tag me too. If he you know accepts Shiba yet and tag me too. All right. I got you. I got you, Denise. Let's go over to tweet. Let's do this. Let's go to um, – someone's blowing me up on Twitter. Holy shit. All right. Uh, let's see. At Elon Musk. Elon Musk, and then I'm assuming Denise, your thing is just Denise or something like that, right? Denise? Uh, is this you? I don't think that's you. Denise, I don't know what your thing is. I don't know what your thing is, Denise. So, uh, not to waste time. I'm going to at Elon and then tell me your username and I'll do it after. Uh, did you make Shiba... Hold up. Sir, dude, what's going on, man? Let me go back up here. Uh, acceptable as payment yet. Okay, there we go. Did you make Shiba acceptable as payment yet? Let's see. Everyone retweet that. Uh, I guess it's important. Retweet it. Retweet it all you want. All right? Seriously. Uh... <laughs> TV pal. This rally is over, said Phil. The rally's over. The rally's over. It's over, man. It's over. It's over. It's all, it's done. It's all it's all over, man. What what I what I'll say about this is uh, I mean you could look at this either way. I know uh, we we can talk about the, the W here, right? Move to the downside, move back up, move back up, move back up. What I'll say is I mean I'm not going to – what I'll say is this, right? What I'll say is this is – I mean a lot of people will say you could say the same thing. You could have an M formation here. Uh, move to the upside, move back down, move to the upside, move back down. M formation forming. And I, th I think that's uh, you know, slightly, slightly realistic. 
But let's see. I, I, I want to see if my green box support holds. I want to see if my green box support holds. Let's see. It's between about, like we said, it's between about 40,900 and about 41,300. That's the level we want to see hold there. Uh, Phil wants me to spin. So let's do a spin for Phil. Let's do a little spinny spin for Phil here. Live action. So let's do a spin. All right, so we got 50, I think that was a $50. You know what? I'm gonna do a $50 mod giveaway. I'm not doing, we've, listen, that was, that was like right on the line. I'm gonna do a $50 mod giveaway, all right? So I'm gonna think how I'm gonna do this here. Uh, how am I gonna do a, how are we gonna pick between all the mods? Anyone have any ideas? Let me know in the chat. But I wanna do a $50 mod giveaway for one of the mods. They deserve it. They're awesome. They're in here every single, a lot of these people are in here every single day for the whole stream, okay? And even if they're not in the chat, they might be in the background. So let me know how you want to do this. I want to do the people that are in here today, okay? And I, try, I don't want to be biased. So I want to, I want a way we can do this, man. I want a way we can do this. So, you know, I don't know how many mods are in here today, but let me know, man. Let me know. Let me know which one. It was, it was close enough to do it. And we, we've done a bunch of other ones. So let me know. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to do this though. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh... <laughs> Without, without like thinking, just do random. Let's see. Put the mods in the YouTube randomizer. Randomizer. I am here. We're all here. <laughs> Let's see. Newest mod gets the fifty dollars. Um. All right. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna do the same thing we did before. And I'm just going to go up and down. And whoever's the closest, okay? Where's where's my hat? I'm wearing it. <laughs> I said, where's my hat? I'm wearing it. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, all right? I'm going to go up and down. Whoever's the closest is going to be the winner, all right? I, I, listen, I don't know who's in here right now, but we're going to do it, all right? Here we go. 10. Hold on. Let me, let me bring it over here real quick. Let me do this. All right, here we go. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. QM, QM wins. QM Pierre is the winner. All right, QM, you know what to do, man. You know what to do. Hit me up on Discord or Twitter. All right, make sure you do it, man. Make sure you do it. And make sure you're the real QM, all right? <laughs> you got impersonators trying to act like they're the, they're the person that won on Twitter. So, QM. I would prefer if you do it in the Discord, but, um, you know, I would say I would prefer if you did it in the Discord, right? So, you, there's not any, uh, any, any fraudsters trying to tweet me with fake names, all right? Uh, if, if, you're not, if, you don't have, if you're not in the Discord, just do it on Twitter. But I prefer in the Discord because... You got like, for instance, the the one people who won uh, yesterday, you had like friggin' forty people atting me, changing their names, right, <laughs> to make it seem like they were that person. So uh, keep that in mind, man. Hit me on the Discord. That, that that's definitely better. But QM, you're the winner, man. Fifty bucks. Um, real QM, step, please stand up. Seriously, seriously, man. All right, so. Bosnia said, change my name from Lit Litri to Bosnak for you. Bosnian boy. Okay, I like it, man. The Bosnian boy. The Bosnian boy. QMS Discord, perfect. Mess with me in Discord. That's a lot easier, man. <laughs> a lot easier than on Twitter. Um, Philip said, felt scammed last dono. Felt scammed last dono. Philip, what are you talking about, man? I know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Anyone that's at me, that, that, that's been real, okay? There's been some fraudsters out there. Anyone who's, who's actually won, added me, I've sent it to them, right? You can ask the people that, uh, that won. And this this is a mod, so it's 100% gonna happen. Stranger, Game of Jordan Knight member, what's going on, man? Stranger0509, what's going on, dude? Thanks for becoming a member. I know Bitcoin's dumping right now, and uh, it's probably not what we wanna see. We're coming back down to actually into our green box. Will the green box hold, man? That's the question. Will the green box hold? Wes said, new fake scam account of you asked me on Insta if you would be interested in investing 
best in trade options. I asked him uh, to be a ba a bra wait a brain and his mom. Oh, I asked him how to bang his mom. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, listen. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who these people are. Who do you guys think of these these scam accounts that are on uh, that are on Instagram? These these scam accounts that are on Instagram and the scam accounts that are on uh, on Twitter. Who do you think runs these accounts? I'm generally curious. I, I, I I'm not gonna I'm a kind of a conspiracy theorist, so I'm not gonna go too deep into these. But who do you think runs these scam accounts? I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, guys. Let me know in the chat who you think runs these. I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I don't know what I can say. But who do you think runs these scam accounts on Twitter? Ah, I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Okay, a little bit, a little bit, man. We found support, boys. Guys, if we bounce off this green box, all right, you got to give me a pat on the back, man. I don't know if we're going to do it. It's too early to tell. But this, this area had so much confidence. We talked about the 200 EMA on the four hour. We're talking about uh, you actually now have, as long as Bitcoin can close around this area, slight bullish divergence there on the four hour. Uh, we also have the 200 EMA on the hourly, and we also have the 0.5 Fibonacci all correlating to that exact area. And we have the daily downtrend resistance and the 20 EMA on the daily, all in this general range. So, listen, so much confluence at that general range. Let's see if it holds now. Let's see. Bunker of hackers. A bunker of hackers. It's savvy. <laughs> I don't think it's savvy, man. I don't think it's savvy, man. Um, controlled. Some schmuck from Revere. <laughs> he said some schmuck from Revere. Who runs it? Some schmuck from Revere. Uh, that's too funny, man. That's too funny. A lot of people saying uh, it's savvy. Let's see. Drew said, I'm a major conspiracy theorist enthusiast. Me too, man. Me too. I am, I am a huge conspiracy theory uh, person. Huge, huge. My question is, why haven't these guys gotten shut down yet? That's what I want to know. It doesn't seem that hard to create some type of system to stop these guys. Uh, it really doesn't. It doesn't seem like too hard of a system to stop these guys. Why haven't they gotten shut down yet on any social media? Why haven't they gotten shut down yet on Instagram? Why haven't they gotten shut down yet on Twitter? Why haven't they gotten shut down on uh, YouTube? Why are we? Just, they are just allowed to spam, spam, spam the same exact things over and over again? Tell me how that's. Tell me how they're allowed to do that, All right? Tell me. And I'm not gonna go into my conspiracy theory, but tell me how they're allowed to do it over and over again, man. It's annoying, bro. I'm sick. Of, I miss the days where I could go into my YouTube comments and actually engage with my with my followers. Okay, and this is not on Twitter. But this is on YouTube. I, I miss the days where I can go into my comment section and actually engage with people that comment on my videos or my live stream. Now, if I comment, people think I'm just a fake. So what's the point? You know what I mean? Like it's it's stupid, man. They need to fix this because it ruins the whole it ruins the whole really the YouTube comment system. It, it really does, especially for the crypto space. Twitter's getting absolutely destroyed by them too. Like you can't even like if you're a bigger a bigger uh, account on Twitter, you just get absolutely bombarded with these with these stupid things, right? It, tell me, man. Tell me. Uh. Bitcoin <laughs> working with Putin. <laughs> They're getting paid by them? Eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Sir Dude said, I am Bob. Prove otherwise. You're Bob, dude? I don't think you're Bob. Let's see. <clears throat> they just make a thousand of accounts per day? But why are they allowed to make a thousand of accounts per day? Why are they allowed it, man? The engagement. All right, Bitcoin's shown. I know a lot of people are getting uh, freaked out right now. A lot of people are getting freaked out right now, guys. Um, here's what I'll say about this, man. Do not get freaked out. Stay positive. I know, I know a lot of you guys, listen, man. Listen, man. I mean, there, there was a time and place where I could say stay positive, and I know people would actually listen. 
I think we're at that point, you know, in the market where I say stay positive and people don't listen, right? People are just like, why am I going to stay positive? We just, we've seen sideways and down for the last year in crypto. Why am I going to stay positive? There was a time, right? If I said stay positive back here, right, when we were having this dip, there was people that would, right? There was people that would stay positive. Now it's kind of like every time we have a dump, you tell people to stay positive and it's like, you know, most people are just going to brush that off. And, and I, I, I generally, I can see why. I mean, it's, the people that got into crypto in 2021 or later, uh, especially ones who got up in May, really haven't experienced anything. So it's like, what am I staying positive for? Am I staying positive for sideways action? Staying positive? What am I staying positive for? I'm not staying positive any, for anything. But I always say, and I, I base my channel off this in the, from the beginning, and, and, and I used to do, you know, especially for altcoins and stuff, I used to do a ton of long term charts, uh, weekly time frame it up. And then I, I said, that's why I made it my own section here. And we kind of got off topic a little bit with the with the with the menu on the side today, but I think it's important. Good Bitcoin's dumping; it's tough to get off of it when Bitcoin's dumping. But um, what I want to continue to say, guys, is is zoom out. I know that's such a people hate say it when people say zoom out, man. People absolutely hate when people say zoom out. But if you have a hodl bag, man, stop trying to swing it. Stop trying to swing it. All right, at some point, it's gonna bite you in the ass. It's gonna work until it doesn't. It's going to work until it doesn't. I'm telling you. It's going to bite you in the ass. Right? Uh, I can't remember how many people uh, right here. And this is a couple scenarios, right? I can't remember how many people right here thought Bitcoin was going down to 1K. Okay? And they, they didn't accumulate in this range because they thought Bitcoin was going to 1K. And then Bitcoin went on to have a 6X run uh, back up to the upside. Right? I remember people right here. Right? A lot of people right here. Bitcoin's going to get rejected from 14K again. Right, you had this quick dip from 14k back down to 10k. You had people like Savvy, like like Optical Alert, like uh, Kirby, all these guys being super super bearish, saying Bitcoin's going to go back down to uh, to 6k, 3k. What happened? They missed out on the entire run because they didn't just hold and didn't just care about short term price action. They try to swing this crap, man. Have patience, right? And I'll continue to say. It. I know people get annoyed, but I'm just going to continue to say it. Have patience. At some point. At some point, it's gonna be when you, when, not when you least expect it. I guess it's say when you least expect it. Um, the crypto market's gonna move up, and it's gonna you're gonna be in disbelief the whole time. Trust me. In 2020, in 2020, guys, even as much of a bull as I was, you guys watched my channel back in this time. Okay, I was super super bullish. I was a moon boy back then. Even this whole run up, I was in disbelief the entire time. I could not believe what was happening. Right at every resistance, I thought Bitcoin was gonna get rejected, but I didn't care. I hodled the whole time. And it just kept going up and up and up. And the whole time I'm in disbelief, if I didn't just hold, if every time I listened to a bearish video when we got 10% moves down, I would have been pissed, right? I would have been pissed. And that's why like at some point, these prices down here, right, are going to be these prices right here at some point. I'm telling you, there's going to be a time where you're going to be looking at this price action right here as the same way you're looking at this price and action down here. I wish I accumulated down here. You're going to be thinking about it the same way, the exact same way. When, when, Whenever it happens, if it happens right now, if it happens in two years, if we get another dip back down and then it comes back up, at some point, you're going to be looking at these prices and say, why didn't I just hold? Why didn't I just accumulate more uh, for whatever the next rally is to the upside? I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. It, it, it sounds dumb right now and you guys don't care about that right now. You care about what happens today. We care about what happens next hour next four hour candle can you guys see any one hour candles right here okay Rant tell me alert. you see any one hour candles you see any four hour candles on this chart because i don't i don't see any four hour candles on this chart you guys see any four hour candles down here no nope, no four hour candles any one hour candles no i don't see any of them man i don't see any of them you see any of them down here ah, i don't see any of them no one hour and four hour candles down here you guys see any you guys see any bob Bob, you see any one hour, four hour candles, man? You see any, Bob? No, Jordan, I don't see any either. You're so right. Just to keep accumulating. Keep accumulating, man. Keep freaking accumulating. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Keep fighting. <laughs> I'll tell you about this, guys. I'll tell you this. You guys are so worried about what happens for the next month or two. It's not going to matter at the end of the day. It's, not, it's literally not going to matter at the end of the day. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, I'll end it at that. I'll end it at that. Keep funding yourself out of the market, man. 
But here, here's the thing, uh, and I always say this: even if the even if the price goes lower, for whatever reason, all right. And what, what I'll say is, it's usually the people that are, are funding the market that aren't holding anything. Okay, that's usually the case because um, they they want to push it the way they're doing. What I'll say about this is, uh, even if the price does go lower, um, that all the people that are funding it down aren't going to buy back in the price that they wanted to. They're not going to buy back in. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. I mean, we'll see. We'll see whenever the price goes back up. I'm sort of getting ahead of things here, but I'm going to end this rant because I'm kind of going on way too long about this rant, man. Rant alert. Way too long about this rant. V-Sun said, I accidentally dislike. I changed it back. Sorry, dude. Bitcoin going, is going up. We'll find out, man. We'll find out. We will find out, dude. I feel like Putin is writing the final chapter of my life. <laughs> God, man. Yeah, I know there's stuff going on over there. Um, I'm not going to be oblivious to it. I obviously, you guys are seeing the news. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on stream right now. You guys are kind of seeing the news right now. Um, let me see if I can pull any of it up here. Um, hold on one second, guys. Let me see. On uh, uh, Russia, Russia news. Because, I mean, a lot of people are worried about that right now. So let's actually bring this up. Uh, let's see. Let's see, man. Uh, I see foreign minister urges ceasefire after shelling starts fire at nuclear power plant. Uh, what I'm seeing. So foreign, foreign minister urges ceasefire after shelling starts at fire at nuclear power plant. Exact location of fire urges Russia forces to allow in firefighters. Okay, interesting. That's very interesting. <laughs> that's not, uh, that's probably not, uh, well, it's not good, obviously. It's not good stuff. Oh, thank you, Wes. Thank you, Wes. I, I was going to send something out after, uh, most likely, if I remembered. But my, my short term, uh, my short term memory is not great, man. It's not. It's definitely not. <clears throat> Don't trust, though. Uh, I would say, yeah, I mean, obviously wait for confirmation, right? I mean, listen, I'm not a political channel, guys. I'm not going to try to, I'm a crypto channel, right? I'm not going to try to turn into some, you know, political channel. And that's, uh, that's why, like, I haven't really been watching too much crypto content lately because I don't want to see this crap all day, man. It's, it's, it's not fun to look at. I know it obviously affects your life, a lot of people's lives. It, it's not fun for me to look at, right? That's why... I haven't really been watching crypto content, uh, really, because I don't want to surround myself with, you know, um, that type of stuff. And I'm not going to say that in a negative tone. I'm just saying, I don't really want. I don't really want to watch war content all day and, and Russia Ukraine news all day. And that, that's just the way I am. And I don't even like talking about it, really. But, but I know it affects the market, so I, I get why people talk about it. It's just, um, you know, <laughs> it's some. That's like some of the things that everyone's talking about consistently. You know what I mean? And a lot of people like it. Do we really know how it's going to, how it's going to affect the market? Like, what I'll say in the past, like war has been good for the market. So as a crypto channel, right? Um, at least in the past, I mean, crypto really hasn't been around for like anything, anything major, right? But as a crypto channel, I mean, it. You, you would think in theory. If war was good for stocks in the past, you would think that Bitcoin would go up too in times of in times of a war. Um, so a lot of people look at this. I'm, I'm saying this basically off crypto, guys. I'm not talking like morals or humanity here. Um, just going based off past history. I mean, I, I have to stick to that stick to that uh, notion there. You know what I mean? Stick to that notion. <clears throat> will Bitcoin gun go up? <clears throat> Must be must see how Europe and U.S. market react to this news. Yeah, I mean, I, I will say this. I mean, it was the same thing as Monday. Like, obviously, this is a little bit, probably a little bit worse, right? But what I'll say is the same thing happened on Monday. People were like, "Oh, you know, uh, Putin's uh, threatening nuclear weapons," right? 
and everything everyone was saying it's going to be a super super bearish day uh super super bearish day in uh for crypto and stocks and it ended up being a super super bullish day right super super bullish day so don't get ahead of the curve like uh, we're seeing a little bit of a dump right now right a lot of people will say futures are red futures were obviously really really red on sunday too really 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 red this on sunday okay um but uh, listen I'm not, I'm not going to flood myself out right now because a lot of people flood themselves out on Monday and Bitcoin and crypto had like a 15, 20% day to the upside, right? So I'm not going to flood myself out right now. I'm not going to do it, man. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We'll see We'll see how the market reacts tomorrow, but, you know, let's find out. All right, so let's see. But Wes, yeah, uh, Wes said report on Insta, Jordan M. Camel, <laughs> Camel rant. <laughs> In other words, someone made a fake Insta account of name, uh, Insta, Instagram account name with Jordan N. Camel rant. That's good. Yeah, that's going to trick people. Call my, calling me a camel. What am I, a camel? I'm not no camel. Do you see a hump on my back? I don't. Only Bob has a hump on his back. The only person that has a hump on his back is Bob. All right, let's go Bob here. I have a hump. Look at my traps. They're so big. They're really so big. Look at my humps, man. Look at my humps. My humps, my humps, my humps, my humps. My lovely little lumps. Check it out. I met the girl down at the disco. She said, hey, 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 let's go. I can be your baby. I can be your mommy. Milk the milk in my cocoa puh. Milky, milky cocoa. Put your milk with my cocoa puh. Milky, milky, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, bah, 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 bah. Jordan Camel Rant. Um, <laughs> camel Rant Alert. <laughs> uh, Bob has a big uh, freaking thing on his back. Let me tell you. He's got some massive traps. <laughs> Go to, I haven't heard that song in so long. I don't know why that. Sometimes the most random songs pop in my head. I'm telling you, music has a superpower on you guys. If you want to learn anything, make a song out of something, make a melody out of something, and you'll never forget that thing. It's so true. There's songs I haven't heard in 20 years that I still know every single word to. It's crazy. Okay, that was good. W2F, who knows those words? Me, I know I can sing that whole song if you guys want me to. You guys are like, please, Jordan, don't do it. Nope, <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, man. I could, I could sing that whole song for you guys. I really, really could. <laughs> She's <not> do it. <laughs> yeah, everyone will leave. Um, I love to see. I love to know Maya's reaction to that. What was your reaction? She looks at. She's looking at me like I have eight heads. Um, I agree. Jordan, sh Jordan should raise a finger, call it a pump, and play the pop music because this is depressing. Nah, let's do it, man. There you go, man. Hope everyone danced a little bit. Hope everyone danced a little bit, man. Listen, that's why I don't like, uh, I, I know it affects the market and I know it affects a lot of people around the world. That's why I, I like, I try not to listen to this stuff. I really do. I, I really don't try to listen to this stuff. And that's why I haven't, like, I, sorry, I haven't really been watching George lately because like, I feel like every stream he talks about Ukraine, Russia. Uh, you know, I haven't really been, I, sometimes I have BitBoy on the TV. I don't really pay attention though. A lot of it's about Ukraine, Russia. Um, I, I, I'm sick of talking about. I, I, I obviously like I, said, I don't mean it in a negative way, guys. Just I try to, uh, if I can, right? If I can, I try to separate myself from that type of negative stuff. It's basically what I'm trying to say, right? So that's why I'm not. I don't really want to talk about it too much because all it does is make you is making a bad mood, man. And and. Um, you should, it should make you in a bad mood, right? I mean, that stuff's never good for anyone. If it, if we, like I said, people are saying there's videos of it. You know, listen, I mean, um, 
I'm gonna say wait for confirmation, but you know, uh, you don't want to you don't want to listen to that stuff all the time, man. It's not fun. It's not fun listening to that stuff all the time. It's gonna cloud your head. It's gonna make you just think about negative things, and that's why I don't talk about it too much. Always people are always like, oh Jordan, you should talk about the Russia Ukraine stuff. Yeah, check out the geopolitical stuff. I don't like talk about that stuff. It's not fun. My, I want my stream to be fun. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll keep it at that. Right? I'll keep it at that. Let's see. No dump. Stay positive. I'm not positive. Oh, well, I am positive. I'm not positive. I still think we're going to bounce here. I still think we're going to bounce here, guys. Listen, uh, th this is the thesis we had before. All right? We had this green box right here between the 200 and the 50 EMAs in the 4-hour. Uh, 0 0.5 Fibonacci level bullish divergence on the 4-hour. Hourly RSI being oversold. 200 EMA on the 1-hour. On the hour. Now let's let's see what happens tomorrow, right? I mean, listen, uh, Bitcoin tends to follow the stock market. Stock market dumps. Bitcoin dumps. Stock market rallies. Bitcoin will rally, right? I mean, that's that's the uh, cause of the arrow. And people always say it affects crypto. <laughs> I've already said this three times, but the most bearish thing that's happened so far of this news actually caused the most bullish day that we've had in a long time. So yes, it affects crypto, but do people really know how it's going to affect crypto? No one knows, man. No one knows how it's going to affect crypto. Tomorrow could end up being one of the most bullish days that we see for crypto again, right? And I would not be, I would not be surprised if tomorrow everyone's expecting a major, major, major dump, okay? And, and we see another major rally tomorrow. I would not be surprised. I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to call it, right? But I, I, will, I would not be surprised if we see a major rally tomorrow. I wouldn't. Just like on Monday. Just like on Monday. So, Let's wait to see what happens tomorrow. I'm probably going to call it a stream here um, today just because it's not really much. I mean, Bitcoin's dumping. I don't really want to get off. I want to kind of see what Bitcoin does here in the short term, right? Kind of want to see what it does in the short term. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to call it a stream. I'm going to call it a stream, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Like, if there's something going on in the morning, Bitcoin's dumping, Bitcoin's pumping. Um... I'll be on. I'll be on in the morning. I'll let you guys know. All right. So catch you guys later. Hit up the like button before you go. Appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, stay safe out there. Catch you guys later. Adios.